Hey, it's Anime K Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. Tonight, we are going to keep progressing in the Spire of Order. I want to try to get 100% in the DLC. Spoiler alert, as soon as we click on the rail, the reward for clearing the DLC once will appear, so I wanted to uh, mention that. Also, I did notice there are some other gear adjustments. I covered a few of them, but look, you can make oversized sweaters smaller or small sweaters oversized. They yeah, a lot of secret little clothes adjustments I didn't notice before. I know I have an oversized sweater somewhere here that you can make little. But other than that, there's, you know, sock adjustment. You can see the visor on my head is sitting squarely over my eyes for once. There it is. Yeah, this one's normally oversized, but you can shrink it down, that sort of thing. And yeah, you can take your socks off, all that good stuff. That's kind of gross to battle without socks, probably. I don't know if Inklings get sweaty, but let's get into it. So last time, there's the reward. Jeez. Uh, last time, we did two runs. One of them successful, one of them failed at the last minute, the final boss. But one thing I did realize is that anytime you fail at the Spire of Order, you can go back, not just your last run, I was worried it would erase, but you can retry any of the runs that you have tried. So I could go back all the way to when I first attempted it, and it does cost varying amounts of this pearls currency. So we're going to wait. I will come back. Oh, it's a little cheaper on this one for some reason. But I'm going to come back and try to beat it with the tri stringer. But for now, let's just, you know, try a new weapon. We'll refresh with that. I'm trying to see what would be best to help me out. Because lives... You know, three lives is fine. I think some of this, the uh, extras, like armor recovery being faster would be great. Broken armor speed. Things that will... Uh, let's do a little damage up. Why not? I don't want to make it too easy on myself, but we got the pearls. And then we'll give another... Oh, we don't have enough. I, I think, speaking of pearls, pearl, the pearl drone is very useful, so I might upgrade that more. But right now... Let's get started here. Yeah, none of the runs seem to be erased. It seems like it stores all of them. And look at this. We got this. It looks like gum or something. I don't know. The brush color is just... <laughs> it looks chewy. That's that's what I'll say about it, I guess. I don't know. It's cool looking, though. Well, maybe we should do Octobrush, because I have all these options, and I do want to eventually clear all of the palettes. But let's, let's take Sheldon's. I'm not thrilled about the ink mine. Or maybe the Ultra Stamp, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's go. Yeah, I think I was worried that as soon as you try a new one, it would erase your last run attempt. But I think we'll be okay. There's the Infinity for the Infinity Falls that we're sure to see tons. Just kind of did that idly. I think it seeped into my brain. This is one of those, those uh, games that you play a lot, and it... Tetris effects into your dreams. It's definitely been doing that for me. I don't know about everyone else. All set. Let's hit it. Gooing up. I thought she said gooing up for a second. All right. So we can finally use this rush knockback since we have a brush. That would be really crazy to upgrade all the way and then just like mow through everything like a roller or at least bounce stuff away. I think I'm going to try that. And there are badges for using all of the same color chip color in your palette. So if I just like only did support or only did movement. There are badges for that. I want to try to get all the chips that I haven't gotten though. Full floor, this sounds like we're going to have the eight balls maybe. Oh no, we're chasing down these little molas. I think they're called allegros. They're all music things. Okay, here we go. This is the bowling part. Bopping them with a Beyblade. There we go. <laughs> we have another Beyblade here. I feel like. The brush is going to be useful because then I can just escape anytime there's something bad going down. I'm going to say I should lure one into a mine, but we can just do this. It'll give me good practice with the Ultra Stamp and then maybe toss it at it. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of bouncing it, it just launched into my lap. Alright. Easy first floor. Look at that little pixely Sheldon bouncing up and down. What else do we have? 
The drone sprinkler, very useful. Main firing speed. That will affect my flicks, right? Can we turn this thing into an ink brush? We'll find out. I'm gonna try that. I haven't gotten one of these before. So any chip, the picture of the chip, if you look above it, if there's no little lights above it, that means you don't have it yet. And you do get pearls for collecting the chips, which I didn't realize until we needed to. Oh my gosh, what? Your main weapon's off limits. You gotta win with your subs and specials? Oh, and me too. Well, maybe. I don't know if we can do this this early. I have mines. You gotta help me, little guys? These weird things. Um, But yeah, you do earn pearls if you get chips as well, so. Oh, this might not be too hard, because I can just do that. Hopefully. Eh, it went off the side. We're not gonna get more of them, are we? Oh yeah, they keep respawning. Hmm. If I use my main weapon at all, I'm gonna lose my chip ability. I just gonna keep push putting my mines around here. Let them stomp on them and get damaged. Yeah, I can't even roll around or I'm gonna get in trouble. This might not be the smartest for me to uh, risk this on. Get out of the ink! <laughs> okay, good. We got one of these. This will help me destroy some of the others. This is tricky. This is like a puzzle a little bit. Oh, the, now I see what's going on. The sprinkler is being a problem. I can't kill these guys. Get on there. No, no, no. The fish. Oh, I got to do it. I got to use my main. Or we're dead. Oh. <laughs> this is too difficult. All right. I tried. There we go. Oh look, we can't, okay, so it's just, it's the money bonus is going down slightly every time I flick my brush. That's not that bad. Now, let's see if we can lay a trap for this guy. I'm gonna put a couple of mines here, and then try to go around. See if we can scare him the other way. Oh, nope, they're going up here. <laughs> this is a little bit of a rough warm up. I'm just going, going for my brush, because, okay, this is, all right, perfect, perfect, right there. We got a little bit of a bonus. That would be a lot easier later on, but I think too early, I have, I don't have the best set for that, but we still got, yeah, we got 151. Not a bad number. Yeah, I think that would also be easier if I had a normal sub-weapon. Ink damage up. Armor drop. Let's get the armor drop, because I don't have it yet. I don't want to make this too hard on myself. Because the final boss can be really challenging, but... Yeah, you don't have to follow the bonus challenges. I was just trying my hardest to. Favorite favorite flavor for any food? That's an interesting question, Karaku. You're gonna get hungry when we barely started. I was rethinking my favorite foods recently, because that question pops up. And I always feel... Uh, it always feels decadent to say shrimp and lobster, because I like seafood a lot, not just in Splatoon. Um, but some of my other more recent favorite foods are, if we're talking flavor, I love pork buns. Bowza are extremely good. Get a special here so we can chomp through everybody, or mash through everyone. Oh. There we go. Wow, that did a lot of damage beforehand, but it seemed like that was pretty good at taking it out after. Um, and then I've been getting really into sour grapes. I don't. That sounds probably weird, but I don't. Something about grapes that are frozen and they're slightly sour is really delicious. That's usually my like after stream middle of the night snack. It's not usually good to eat in the middle of the night with sugar. Especially, but yeah, I re recommend freezing grapes. Get some good red grapes, freeze them, and then leave them out for like a couple minutes, maybe like 10, 15 minutes, and they're perfect. Let's see, main damage distance. That's probably not great for a close range weapon, like my brush. Rush ink coverage allows you to ink more turf with your main weapon when moving. Let's do that. This is rigorous, though. 
this is going to be tough. Octobrush, good for covering the zone. But yeah, if you if you're uh, if you're in an area that has dim sum, pork buns are so good. I have some. I, that should be my after stream snack. I'm getting really hungry now. Oh no, it's this one. This is notoriously one of the most hated floors. My brush can't even reach that far, but we can glide over. Don't forget, if you double tap jump, you can glide with your pearl drone. But yeah, short range weapons with this challenge is extremely difficult, as we will find out very soon here. Because these little sprinklers are gonna give us so much trouble. It's tough to get up onto some of these side areas. You gotta go up and then over like this. Yeah, I tried this with dualies. I was able to do it. It just took a little while originally. Oh, I threw that too close. Let's hurry. Because I gotta jump between so fast. If it wasn't hard enough, you also have these sniping towers after you the whole time. I think I can move around a little quicker now that I have the brush, though, to do it. We just gotta go to the other side, before these guys get over here. I'm kind of ignoring the snipers, which isn't maybe the smartest. If you're far enough away, they don't seem to be that much of a problem. There we go. Yeah, just keep moving. They can't snipe what they can't catch, right? They're just going off so much. Oh, well, I guess I let too many spawn. That's okay, we can get more lives later. We're halfway to it. At least that clears out all the enemies. All right, get that and go. This would, I really want to know what like a range up brush is like, although we, we kind of had the opportunity for that before and I passed it up. Oh, thank you, Average Chris, with the super chat. Really appreciate it. I'll get to your message in a second. Right now, I'm looking for my life here. Yeah, the first opportunity I get to change my sub weapon or my special weapon, I think I'm gonna take it. Let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> Launch him away. Didn't actually kill him though. Just launched him a little off. Okay. Hurry back to the other side. I could just jump off and glide from there. Yeah, I don't have to go to the platform. This is a lot faster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Better not get sniped again. There we go. Average Chris says, Hey, Swimmy, hope you're having a great day today. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Thank you. That was your fifth super chat. Appreciate the support. Uh, last night I got a little demoralized, but then I figured out pretty quickly after the stream that I don't have to do the entire Tri Stringer run again, which is very nice to know. Okay. Well. Let's do the vending machine, because maybe I'll get a life this early to restock. And also, any opportunity to change my sub-weapon would be great. The, the mines aren't cutting it for me right now. They added bootleg giraffes, <laughs> says Charger. Yeah, those little towers are part... They're, they're very similar to the Octarians that snipe you in single player. But they also kind of remind me of stingers a little bit. Ooh, we can get the rush attack up. Or ink bottle drop percent. Yeah, I do recommend having at least three lives feels... Three just seems like the right amount. And if I was saving my money, my Membucks, and we died, you can pay Membucks to continue instead of Pearls. I just don't have enough. Yo, Ak, you gonna let me hear any of those funny st Marina stories you got saved up? So Marina and Oct were dead fish. DJ Deadfish were childhood friends, or they, they were in the ar army together believe. But what, Pearl? Let me think. There was a time she talked to nobody about- whoa! <laughs> Big man, get out of here! Big man's dancing in the elevator. 
If there's too much weight, we're all gonna crash down. No, that's just a little big man. That's big man's little clone. He might be evil. Okay. Let me think. There was a time she talked to nobody about excavators for two hours straight. Whoa, for real? Wow, Rena, I can't believe how short your speeches used to be. I was a younger, less experienced nerd. Nowadays, I feel confident in my ability to fully convey the joys of excavators accurately and in painstaking deep. I think we're ready for the next floor now, eight. Thank you so much, Rafa. Sorry, I had to get through that dialogue. He says, you got this, Adam. Wowie zowie distraction with a cherry on top. Thank you so much. Extremely generous member. Honorary Heron Baron, for sure. Which definitely, if you got any suggestions of other stuff you want to see on the channel, I mentioned I teased it before, but Danny and I have a series coming up very soon that was suggested by Lego Pycoon, who also donated a bunch in the Super Chats. Appreciate that a lot. You both are some of the most generous members. Keeping me going, keeping the cats and treats. Let's see. This seems pretty strong. Yeah, I don't know what to choose, because I kind of want to keep upgrading the rush attack. But the attack size seems amazing. Let's, uh, let's go easy a little bit. I want to get the rush, rush up. Keep this nice blue-purple color we got going. Rafa, are you ready for the Golden Grisco weekend? This is going to be my last, uh, side order stream for a little while, because we got Golden Grisco already started. So I'm excited to do that, but I figured we'll do a little more of this before, since it's new and the weekend is here. All right, let's try this. Whoa, 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 that was not what I wanted. <laughs> I was trying to rush into them. Now my armor's broken. I gotta be careful, I keep breaking my armor too easy. This is a lot easier to navigate, these two. Got pretty good damage, right? They're so focused on the eight ball that I can just kind of roll into them. All right, this way. Infinity ball, sorry. I keep calling it the eight, I don't know why they didn't call it the eight ball. It's, you know, octo themed. Okay. Easy, it was easy. We didn't get much money for that. Beast drop, max lucky chain plus a bonus, or man, knockback plus my weapon. Hmm. Oh, it was it doesn't affect heavy enemies, so maybe my rolling into them wasn't doing as much as I thought it would. I'm gonna try that again. I want to keep getting all these brush upgrades and make my brush just like this crazy dynamo fast powerhouse. Hi, Edis. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, Rafa's going for 999 and Golden Grisco. I guess that's a good time to get it, because you get the overpowered weapons. It's on Salmonid Smokeyard, which I'm a little mixed on. It's kind of like Marooner's Bay, where I like it in theory, but playing it can sometimes be a little difficult. Yeah, see, it doesn't knock them back. They're too big, these guys. One going. Hitting the eight ball, or I keep calling it infinity ball, into them does also uh, does also do damage. Kind of your best bet. I kind of like those ones because the enemies typically just go after the ball instead of you, especially if it's easy. Let's see, drone burst. Flat ink recovery. That could be really good with brush. Um, I've heard splat bombs on the pearl drone and ink strikes are extremely overpowered if you want an easy go. I've only used, uh, I think I had ink strike once on pearl. You can really just like overload her with all the different sub weapons and specials and she's just launching them constantly. Then you just sit back and reap the rewards. is doing okay damage so far. They haven't upgraded it much. Well, I'm getting my ink back from them, right? 
Yeah, it's kind of reminding me of Salmon Run right now, where the brushes aren't always the best when you have a uh, when you have a lot of enemies to deal with and you're trying to do a lot of damage. The brush isn't always the most useful weapon, and we get to it in time. There we go. I don't think this has anything in it. This is just a decoy to mess with you. Yep, that's what happened last time. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was thinking I was going to throw something. Just holding a mine in the air. Oh, I got a little too close to that. That's okay, we can mount. Need to be extra careful when my armor is low. All right. Chisun, welcome. We got a lot of new people chiming in. Hmm. Rafa tried the ink strike and maxed out the pearl drone. Too much power. It's, <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard. And then we could give pearl mines. I wish you would take my mines from me so I could do something else. We don't have much money. Let's not go to the vending machine. Let's just get whatever this is. Lucky. Lucky stuff is also pretty overpowered. It basically increases the chance of enemies dropping stuff, and it's that little chain that we get going up to 10 by default. Just get these guys before they even see me. Or not. We ran away. Push him back. Even if he's big, I can still push him back and he doesn't know what hit him. All the way up, and then let's do this. Oh, nah! <laughs> I didn't realize that ledge was there. Doesn't matter. They ran right into me, anyways. They're robot fish. They're not the smartest. Okay. Thanks for stepping in, Alex. Average Chris's house side order so far. Is it worth getting the DLC? I think gameplay-wise, I am very happy with it. Uh, Story-wise, there is lore that I haven't dived into, the Dev Diaries from Marina. Speaking of gameplay-wise... This is the creepiest boss, just listen to this thing. It reminds me of Earthbound, Gigas. But it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like crying, <laughs> crying baby. Crying baby versus... Nuclear ink strike. Nuclear booyah bomb. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I know some people are disappointed that it's short, but it is very replayable. This is going to be an interesting boss fight with a short range weapon. So we got to hit all these HAL 9000 eyes. The layered rotator asynchronous rondo. Oh, good. We can get up here. That did not help that much. Let's start with the lower levels, I guess. You just don't want it to detect you with its big spotlight, or you're in trouble. <laughs> it makes some of the creepiest noises. Oh, it looks like it might detect you underneath as well, if you're not careful. Uh-oh. I'm gonna back up a little. Flipping out. Wise decision. Bombs all over. Okay, here we go. Don't let it stomp me. Nice. That works pretty well on the medium sized fish rolling into them. Oh, nice. And the little ones get splatted like a small fry. Run, run, run! <laughs> We're being detected. The brush is faster than the spotlight. Uh-oh, they saw me. We're okay back here. Mostly. Starting to smoke. Yeah, once it does the bombs, we can get in here and it won't move for a little while. Pour it on! Let's do some wave breakers shenanigans that I didn't notice before.
Let's do... Keep wanting to cut underneath, but it doesn't seem to like that. Oh, it's flipping out. Not doing too bad. You can still just damage it normally, but you ideally want to hit the weird eyes and stuff. Where's its final thing? Gotta be on the other side, right? There it is. Come back here! It's faster than my brush. You can kind of sneak around the spotlight if you're quick, too. There we go. We did it. Okay. <laughs> no brush limp sicking. Hmm. Soradori says they, they kind of wish that more lore was unlocked. Yeah, I've heard there's some good stuff in there. I'm kind of saving all of Marina's dev diaries to maybe do them all at the end. Gotta say, you make this look easy. You don't get nervous fighting those things. They're a pain, but not really scary. Fighting Marina in that first tower was way scarier. That's because she has an emotional investment in her girlfriend. What? R really? Obviously. Wondering if you're stuck that way forever, never going back to normal? I was scared. Oh, pearly. Uh, times like this, Eight. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> We're the third and fourth wheel in this relationship. Um... Pearl is also in a robot, so she's probably not as scared. Good attack. Max that out before. Ink recovery rate. Do that. I'm gonna wait on a vending machine till we have more money. Thank you, Addis. I appreciate you enjoyed Super Mario 3D World. If you like having Danny in a series, we got one coming up. I just mentioned a little bit ago. Hmm. No run around this time, huh? Down with the tyranny of legs, tentacles for life. Oh, we can't run? How does that work? I have to squid everywhere? Does brushing count? Hmm. I better start at the top then. I have to ink wherever I want to go, I guess, and then squid. Yeah, you, you also have to squid before you move, or you get deduced points. Thank you, so Thank you so much, Average Chris. Yeah, look at this. It's slowly deducting my points. I'll get to your super chat in a sec here. See, I start to move a little before I swim, I think, as a habit. Normally, that doesn't matter, but... Apparently, we're not allowed to. Oh, look out! We got it. Got a little bit of... Got a little bonus there, but... Not perfect. You still get partial credit. Like a good test. Thank you, Average Chris. They said, buy yourself a Danny at Baja Blast. Danny actually loves Baja Blast. I think more than Dr. Pepper, honestly, Haley. I know Dr. Pepper is up there for Danny, but... Baja Blast might... The blue... The darker blue do? What is that called? Voltage? That's her favorite. Hmm. We have a chance to do this again, but also... I kind of want to max out some of the abilities that are unique to this weapon, like rolling. Let's do that. Yeah, so the... There's but like I mentioned, there's a bit of story, but it feels like it's over pretty quick because I think some of the lore is a little more hidden, or we gotta... Every time we repeat the tower and go against the final boss, we're getting little bits of lore and stuff from that, too, I noticed. They're more talkative now. It gives the final boss a little more character than I was expecting. Okay, so... The other one, I think, is around this side. Not enough of a roll attack to work on the big guys. The little guys. The little guys can't handle this. <laughs> there we go. 
That is so satisfying. Rolling over all of them. Yeah, it takes like three brush rolls. Crush those guys. Yeah, they've been selling Baja Blast, but I resist. I'm I'm more of a code red. I like red do. I forget the name sometimes because I just say like blue do, red do. <laughs> Swim speed up. Okay, here we go. Drone splat bomb. We've been waiting for this. I think that's our best bet. Hmm. How's it going? So far so good, Haley. I am kind of worried how some of the bosses are going to be. We took one down, though, with this. I think I'm a little worried about Overlorder, the final boss, after what happened last time, but this is a good weapon for it, because those Reef Sliders are not going to be able to keep up with me. That's, that's one of the biggest problems with that final boss. If you're using a weapon that is slow to run away, then you might just die, as we saw. If you watched the last stream, tragedy of my poor stinger run. Man, that's a good sound. Alright. Where did the ball go? <laughs> Got a little distracted. How did it get all the way up here? Or is that... That's a different one. We already got the other one. Sometimes I'm already in the middle of it before I pay attention to the objective. And our buddy, the gelatin, pushed that in. Thank you, Haley. Haley believes in us. Let's see. Lucky Bomb. I didn't do this on the last run, and maybe that was my undoing. So these will drop occasionally and they will explode and just kind of... It's almost like you have mines every time you kill an enemy. Mmm, this also looks pretty good. I'm gonna try Lucky Bombs. I feel like my successful run was really aided by having those. Anything that drop, like, increases the drops from enemies is very, very helpful in this. That's my tips. Increase your Pearl Drone power and increase all the drops. But also do not underestimate movement speed, like swim speed, because that was my undoing. I was not swimming away fast enough against the final boss. Hey, you. Oh, jeez. Are you going to witch? i got to heal. I thought I could take him down fast enough. I'm not doing enough damage to these towers. Speaking of tower, where's that turbine? There we go. <laughs> These might be my favorite style of stage, the turbine tower. It really makes me wish there was a multiplayer mode with this. I do find it really fun to... There's those lucky bombs, and they're blowing up everything. They look like little orbs. Um, I find it really fun to have to fight this thing. Instead of standing on it and just being a sitting duck, you actually attack the tower in this. And it turns into a sprinkler. Oh my gosh, Average Chris! You're showering me in Super Chat. I appreciate it, buddy. We get to hear Big Betrayal and see Big Man do his little dance. Big Man, power up my... Ultra stamp, please, while you're up there. I think I realized with my Octo Brush, I need to be a little more careful of getting so close to all the enemies because I'm constantly breaking my armor. Oh! Oh no! I bounced and launched it over their head. There's another sniper somewhere. One thing I need to try is upgrading the uh, amount of lucky chain, or luck, yeah, the max chain you can get, because you can get up to 10 by default. But the higher the chain is, the better the percentage chance that you're gonna get. <laughs> that you're gonna get, uh, 
bonuses when you splat stuff. I think the bombs helped me there, or Pearl did. Okay. If they ever release a Tomodachi Life 2, would you play it? Is what Average Chris asked. I would definitely be interested. I played a bit of Metopia. I think the the Japanese partner direct that we just got recently men mentioned the... What is it called? Dempa Men? Isn't that the same developer? That might be what they've been working on. Gun speed up. Armor drop, but danger. Mobile ink recovery. This could be really good because I'm always running around. Or we can get the bonus. Unfortunately, run speed up does not increase your rolling speed. At least in the normal game. Let's try this. Al just chugged 32 ounces of vanilla coke. <laughs> wow, that'll keep you going on a Friday night. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned it, but the Japanese version of the Partner Direct that we just got on uh, Thursday, was that yesterday? Man, time is going by quickly now that this game is out, because I'm spending most of my time playing it. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Direct, the Japanese version got Mother 3 announced and released on the Virtual Console, which, you know, always stings a little bit when it doesn't get localized, but that's kind of the way it's been since 2006. Used to it at this point. Make sure these arpeggio guys don't sneak up on me. Ugh. Ultra Stamp is so slow to get started. Get out of here, you! I gotta name. I gotta learn the name of the sprinkler guys, sprinkler fish, because they're probably the most frustrating. They always mess up your objective. Inevitably, they will be in the splat zone levels. Yeah, the Western Partner Direct got a bunch of rareware games, like older games like Glass Core. Snake Rattle and Roll. Uh, thank goodness we got Snake Rattle and Roll instead of Mother 3. <laughs> um, but yeah, some of those games I'm fond of, but I would much rather have the Earthbound series complete on Switch. Don't paint my zone. We gotta get the other side, don't we? You know, this might actually be helpful. Put mines down. Because then when they ink on it. Oh, jeez. When they ink on the zone, it'll uh, hopefully blow up. And maybe take them out. Man. I feel like I'm constantly not making that jump for some reason falling off the edge. I don't know what it is. Do you have to jump when you're flying through the air? Yeah, I thought about playing the Metopia remake on Switch, but there was enough stuff going on that I never got to it. Main damage distance. Mobile link recovery. That could be good. Let's do it. It's a danger floor, but they keep showing up if you don't play them. Sooner or later, you have to do one. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, the danger is just ink everywhere. This is probably the easiest of the dangers. Because, you know, you can just put your own ink down. Average Chris! <laughs> Thank you again! They said, alright, enjoy the rest of the stream. I have work for tomorrow. Much love. By the Baja Blast cans. Thank you. Get Danny some... Baja Blast for you. Let's ink this place up a little bit. Corner him. Gotta recover. Oof. Okay, here we go.
Ah, you got away too fast. Jeez, I feel like my armor breaks so quickly. I don't know what it is, because I'm getting up in the mix more with my Octobrush, or I'm not sure. Always prioritize those spring guys, because they will keep you alive when you bounce on their springs. I'm gonna put some mines down. It seems like these guys are getting away from me too quick. Alright, now they got nowhere to go without running into a mine. Didn't even need them. Above average Chris, yeah. That's your new nickname, thank you again. Let's see. Hmm, electric gauge, drone charge. We need to unlock some specials for Pearl's drone because she isn't doing much but dropping bombs. Although charging would be pretty good. Let's get her defeating enemies charges. Hmm. I keep wondering what that is. I'm like, are these little creatures making little new noises? Little chirps and choops? But no. I keep damaging the dummy with my ink. Yeah, I don't have the range to get these guys right off the bat. That's okay. We'll hunt them down. And land on their heads. Stepped on my mind. There you go. If you sneak up on them and they don't see you, it does work too. Ah, they keep getting out of the way. They're too quick for my ultra stamp tosses. Alright, one more. Easy. Nerdy Rat wants to see more Spirit Tea. I would like to get back to that. I'm kind of debating that is one of those games that I enjoy. I know a lot of people like the more chill stream, and Ashley I know definitely enjoys it, but I'm hitting a point where I'm kind of like, I gotta decide if I would m more like to put time or stream and time investment into something else. You guys can weigh in. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Rush Attack again. I wanna get it this as high leveled up as I can. Little Ghost asks, what happened to Pokemon Sun and Moon? We just kind of fell off of it and other stuff came out. Other Pokemon games came out. We never really went back to it. I do love Alola as a region. Oh, this is a new state. What are we doing here? Bouncing things up into that? Oop, it bounced it back. There we go. So we want to use these to get the portal. There we go. That was quick. Uh, but yeah, I, I tend to enjoy each Pokemon generation to varying degrees, but that one we just didn't do as long. As, yeah, one of the things that got in the way is we took some trips around the time that came out, like the Switch was coming out, and I honestly think the Switch kind of ate the 3DS's lunch a little bit where it was hard to go back to the 3DS. Same thing kind of happened with Metopia. Once the Switch was out, I just wanted to play that instead of 3DS. Uh, let's see. This could be really good for my mines, but I would also like to get a different sub weapon. Let's get this. Pal World, I uh, I have a complex relationship with. When it came out, uh, when it launched, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll play this. This is funny and weird." Uh, Pokemon with guns. And I was gonna try to play it with Ashley and get some of the other people like mods to, to join in. Uh, and then, you know, I waited a little bit too long. I was gonna play it right around my birthday when it came out. I waited a while and then some of the unsavory stuff about the game came out a little more, like the fact that it was stealing art 
allegedly. I don't think we know for sure yet. And some of that stuff, I don't know, it, it, it seemed fun as a multiplayer game, but yeah. It's also an alpha, so maybe I'll, maybe I will go back to it and try it in the future if, uh, it seems like it gets noticeable updates. That developer I've heard doesn't always update their games, though. I've heard they, uh, they have a knack for releasing something, getting a bunch of money for it, and that, you know, getting a player base, and then it's kind of not going back to it. Which, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes people dabble in things and they don't get back to them, as we've talked about tonight. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just, like, conflicted on Pal World. It seemed interesting, especially to play with friends, but I'm not sure if, uh, if it's something that I'll, I'll get to now. There's enough other stuff I'd rather play. Hmm. Oh, so some of the, the stealing allegations were overblown. I, it looked like some of those models, <laughs> even if they weren't directly taking the models, there's some of the pals, I'm like, that's Lucario. That's this one, which, you know, inspiration, but it seemed like it went beyond that a little bit. A one multiplayer game that I would like to play with the mods it, that's coming out on Switch finally is Grounded. The Pinging Martial again, okay. This is a fun boss, but it can get a little dicey. But yeah, I would, if. If I could get Danny and the mods to play Grounded with me, it's a four-player survival, like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but you're a little bug-battling teen with your friends building bases. Like, that's a base survival game that I'm more interested in. That doesn't come out till April, though. Just chase this thing around before it can even manage to drop bombs on us. Alright, charging. I forget it does that explosion. Gotta be careful. Yeah, give me that armor. I'm wondering if I can roll into it at all. If it'll do any damage that much. Nope. That didn't seem to work. Alright. Whoa! It's whaling everywhere. It's a little hard to avoid all the killer whales when you're running right into it with your ultra stamp. Get flashing. Cover me, Pearl. Definitely a lot easier to avoid some of these attacks with the brush. I can roll out of the way. You don't want to get hit by that explosion when it stops, but it does break its armor, so it's a lot easier to hit. Spawning. And literally spawning fish. This is what fish say. The word fish don't talk. What fish <laughs> terminology is when they make babies. You know what I mean. I'm fighting a boss. Can't think clearly. Pearl's cover my back. Uh -oh. Watch out when it hits the bumper. It's gonna wave breaker. Get out of here, all of you. Unless you got anything to boost my special. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Launch it off the side. I don't, it doesn't fly over the edge. That would be really funny if you could just like one hit, kill it. Oop, it's coming after me. It's peeling out, ah, ah. Okay, there we go. Another ultra stamp. I used it a little too far away from it. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's making weird little noises. Look out! Ooh! No, no, no! Pearl! Thank goodness for the Pearl Drone. Oh! Jeez! <laughs> Gotta get my armor back. I'm all funked up. There we go. Got that black ink everywhere. We got it. Let's just hover right into the key. Perfect. Pearl centered right in the center. Oh. Let's see. Al is down to play. Nice. Good, good, good. Yeah, I need to need to recruit a squad of four for grounded. What a relief to see you both okay. Nice moves, though I shouldn't be surprised. We had it on lock. Remember this feeling as we keep climbing, eh? Okay, we got plenty of currency for the vending machine, but we have full lives. Let's just get the killer whale, that's so helpful. And then I can save my money in case I fail. So we have to spend our hard-earned pearls. Let's see... Yeah, I, I've been missing, since I stopped playing Minecraft, I've really been missing one of those survival base building games that you can play together. No, Pearl! Yeah, this is one of the worst ones. We just got the killer whale with her, and now she's not gonna help us. Luckily, it is one of these. Oh, I forgot she wasn't gonna be there. To, uh... Oh. Thought she, or forgot she wasn't going to be there to uh, help me glide. I got so used to Pearl saving me. Imagine trying to fight that boss without having Pearl able to save me when I fall over the edge. If you ever don't know where the falls are, this fish will lead, them, lead you right to them. That one's got to go that way. That one's going the other way. Bonk. All right. Glad they're magnetized. <laughs> oh, I really want to roll over this whole train. So satisfying. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. I missed my pearl drone, but we're doing it. Don't you touch that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Good freeze frame. Okay, let's see. We have so much money. It's so tempting to go to the vending machine, but I kind of want to save as much as I can if we don't need to. Hmm. Let's get the squid attack. It can be useful. Yeah, we might not be able to get Pokemon ripoffs with guns from Grounded, but you can tame aphids and little bugs to help you as you're fighting extremely creepy spiders. That's the game where they put a slider where you can make the spiders less spooky if you need I think they just if you set it all the way down they just turn into little like orbs that don't really even look like spiders anymore 
What's the other, is it Lethal Company, the game that it just says the word spider instead of having a spider? Because I know a lot of people have arachnophobia. Oh, gars. Look at those gar. Those are like a river fish that are cool. Pretty sure they're in Animal Crossing. Backing up till I can recover a little bit here. Hey, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Thank you, Pearl. Keep trying to collect the lucky bombs. Like there's something currency. Watch my back, Pearl. Oh, there's another one up here. I shouldn't have thrown that so quick. Hurry, while everything's blocked. Kill it before it respawns everything. There we go. Those little clam guys are kind of rare, but when they do spawn in their flat bombs, it can be a little deceptive. <laughs> I didn't know they just explode if they lose all their angler bits. Oh, another disc. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to spawn another pearl block. There we go. Let's see, is the Q&A working? It was being weird before. Okay, it seems like it's working. It was like super delayed on the last stream. Is it working today? Yes, Saley, thank you. I see your question. Uh, I think I covered all of these, though. Italian Plumber Man Mobile, the eighth stream. Yeah, I haven't, we haven't dove into Mario Kart since the DLC came out. That could be fun, it's a nice chill, low pressure stream. Mobile Ink Recovery, that could be really good. Let's get that. Got a bonus, too. Everyone in there... I wish people still had Halloween decorations up. I keep seeing Christmas decorations. And I know it's kind of winter. Oh, look at this. Lucky chip saturation. Scope all the temporary lucky chips. Good things are coming our way, eight. You'll see. So sometimes the bonus is you get a crazy bonus to your... Uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to see my palette. There we go. Yeah, look at, we got ink bottle drops, hand special drops, drone battery drops, everything with these little stars are these bonus pallet chips we got. Oh, I didn't realize this. If you have, if you want to save and suspend your game, you have to give up a life. That's pretty, it's a little harsh. Okay, this is a fun one. We're going to be bouncing everywhere. Ooh, I gotta watch my back! Speaking of a life! No! I was not paying attention. I went for the big portal first. Is this... This, this is a hard level one. Okay, let's be a little more cautious this time. I'm gonna go for one of these things. How is the Ultra Stamp even gonna work with... Uh... Yeah, I don't know how that would work when you're bouncing all over the place. Gotta be careful on this level as well. <laughs> this is just one of the... Doesn't it just spin when you jump? Yeah. I forget that it has a jumping attack. I almost never used the Ultra Stamp. Not one of my weapons of choice. Special weapons of choice. Look at all this stuff! Whoa! We're close to another uh, portal jam. Just need one more pearl chip. Oh, there it is! Ah, I missed it. <laughs> That's okay. 
We'll probably get another one here with how lucky we're getting with all these drops. Jeez. There it is. Alright, finish it before it respawns. Very chaotic. This this DLC is a really good test of your bit rate. Because of so much visual noise. What do we got? I keep avoiding run speed, because again, it doesn't help when you're rolling. But if you're just trying to run, not bad. Mm, let's do that. I haven't done splat zones in a little bit. Bounce. I feel like that bouncy one is one of the most fun levels. Doesn't have guardrails though, so you'd have to be careful. Yeah, we are Haley. <laughs> we're in the kind of winter part of the year in Western New York, that's for sure. Not quite warm enough to go on walks like I want, but not cold enough for it to be too bad. Gotta wait to get those special charges until your special is fully depleted, or else you will waste it. Uh-oh, sprinkler guys. Whoop! Hey, you. Ink mines are actually pretty helpful on this one. I under underestimated them. It's also nice just using the Ultra Stamp out of multiplayer, where it feels more fun. I think in normal multiplayer, it can be really exploited, and is not, it's not as fun to just use your special and then feel like it didn't help you that much, you know? Thing, the beat is going off. Oh, yeah, it's been so foggy too. I feel like late winter just turns into second fall or first fall, I guess. Oh, here we go. This is what we need. Except moving ink speed. Hmm. I want the I want the ink strike, but I kind of want to get one of these unique chips that I won't get otherwise, because it's only this and the roller that use it. Thank you, Spooky Taoist, for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. <laughs> I always forget it's gonna make that little noise. What is it? A zone. Not paying attention. Just like most other uh, platoon modes, I learn what I'm supposed to do once we're already in it. Pearl is just yelling constantly as she throws stuff everywhere. I almost got splatted by that guy. Saved by another one of them. There's a couple things that I think would be really fun if uh, Salmon Run borrowed from this. Uh-oh. Bounce me! Please! Oof. Get him, Pearl. Um, but I, namely, every time I see one of those, one of the enemies riding on the bigger fish, then I laugh at it. I'm like, that would be really funny to see like small fries on top of co cohawks and stuff. And if they ever want to make 
salmonids a friendly race and play as them, which I doubt. They could just put the gelatins in there instead, but I think Salmon Run would lose a lot of its personality if the salmonids were swapped out. It wouldn't even make sense to call it that. Let's head to the vending machine. I got so many membucks, and I need a life. That's why I'm <laughs> playing video game now. <laughs> I need an extra life. Here we go. Oops. Oh, I can buy pearls. Good. Then we can make it a little easier to get my tri stringer that I'm still a little bitter about. Damage by explosions. I'm going to save my membucks because I have my mines, but. So quiet here without a gelatins bugging us. I'm bored. Let's get back to the elevator. We're there. I think I've mentioned this before, but I think if they were going to add another playable race to this game, a general fish type character, like a humanoid fish, because we've seen those in some of the bands. I'm pretty sure the new band that we're getting in the update has the, uh, is it the bassist from Seaside as a fish? Um... We could do another vending machine. That's very tempting, actually. Let's try it. But yeah, they could do a fish humanoid and then just do a, a bunch of variations, like different ear style fins and different, you know. Then you can look like a bunch of different fish. And I guess you would shoot slime out everywhere. Drone battery, splash damage. That We had that in the other one. I might do this. The sprinkler is probably going to be more helpful than mine. Even though I've been using them. Okay. Check down to the vending machine. She keeps tricking me. There's no membucks under there that I know of. Main firing speed. Ink coverage. Ooh. Let's do that, even though it's rigorous. 65% more ink coverage sounds amazing for the brush. Thank you, Shane Mario. Yeah, I feel like Octo Expansion maybe had a more compelling main story, but gameplay-wise, I think I might enjoy this better. Where's the, the other zone is way over here. I've never played this map that I can recall. And there's only a handful of mode types in this, but I think they do a good job of having a decent amount of variety for that. Oops. Didn't mean to fall. Alright, let's let the sprinkler do its work there, and I'm going back over here. This is going to be hard to cover both of these. This is almost like the other... The other map that we had to worry about the snipers so much. As soon as I get over here, I gotta get back to this side. And then they try to travel to the other one. The little sprinkler guys are such jerks. Oop, man. I don't know why, I feel like I have less life with this weapon or something, because I get one. One hit and my armor breaks. And I guess that's how the armor works. I gotta just cut these guys off in the middle if I'm lucky. Before they get to the zone. Or just throw a sprinkler. Go back. Did not mean to drop down. We're okay. We can't keep up with all the sprinkler guys. Oh no. Let's just get this guy out of here. He's gonna cause so many problems. If I leave him alive. These little bomb babies. There they come. Okay, final checkpoint. I don't know why I threw a sprinkler into there. That's not going to help. Oof. 
This is quite a track back and forth. See if I can block spawns. One more. You're having mercy on me giving me the discs to stop everything from spawning. Making it so tough. Come on. Thank you. Jeez. Probably would have been easier with a charger or something that could hit both zones, but we had a close range weapon. Cruel Sisyphean 8 shaped floor. Oh, someone mentioned the, yeah, in the Discord, which if you're not part of the bog, the Discord, there's a link in the description, but someone mentioned the Sisyphean thing and that, yeah. Sticky ink. Hmm. To do attack size. This knockback is very tempting to upgrade even more. I'm going to try attack size. It is danger and rigorous, but I'm up for it. <laughs> Charge you. The tri stringer incident was heartbreaking, but we will remedy it. It's not permanent. Oh, man. Alright, lights out. Five portals. Can we charge up? Oh, yeah, look. We can kind of let Pearl charge up a little before we get in there. And then she'll have a thing ready immediately. Oh, the sniper. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I should have been a little more careful. There we go. Luckily, the Ultra Stamp is really good at taking out portals. Everything is exploding! Okay. One more portal. But everything is over here. This is not good, I'm in a bad spot. In the corner. Jeez. <laughs> that was the final floor before the boss. So no wonder it was so crazy. Ugh. I don't have the, I usually have way more chips by now, but maybe it's because I've been saving my money. Top floor coming up, even money on smallest trying to stop us again. Why do you think that thing's so hung up on its world of order? Maybe if we knew where Smallisk or rather order came from, we could figure that out. Doesn't seem like the sharing type. Doesn't really matter. We're here to reconfigure this pallet. And that's it. Lead the way, eight. I'm I have a theory, I don't know, a working theory that maybe Smallisk is the Spire of Order digital version of DJ Octavio or something, like his little baby persona. <laughs> That's his VTuber. He's he's smallest. He's a baby puss. Okay. Can I do it this time? I just really need to look out for the reef sliders. Do not risk it. Here we go. Don't underestimate this baby. Smallest. We're just here to reconfigure a pallet. We're not looking for a fight. Do you even know what those pallets are? They're souls with really strong colors. I went to all the trouble of putting them into the members so they wouldn't mess with my plan. You weren't supposed to get them. It's not fair. This is the dialogue we got last time, but I didn't beat him last time, so. You're so annoying. I'm not going to let you reconfigure nothing. We're going to fight now, please. They're very, they're very, uh, polite. Second restoration of... Oh. Overlorder. Give me my brush. Let's go. I'm way to fight, please. 
Maybe uh, my special will work a little better than the killer whale was doing last time. So I think some of the problem was it was taking a really long time to actually destroy the portals. There we go, not too bad. Enjoy the cool music. Using the super chump. Oh my gosh, that was so much faster. Oh, my sprinkler. Also, yeah, if I ever get in danger, I can just do this. Definitely nicer. Wow. Ultra stamp. MVP. I still have my stamp. Messed that up a little bit, but we're okay. Lock and Pearl! I wish I had my stamp, but we're still doing good damage. And he's frozen for this. Perfect timing to freeze him, because I'm... Uh, why is he so fast? He spun around a lot quicker than I was expecting. He's barfing out enemies. Oop. Ah! That was bad timing on my part to get stomped by one of those things. Okay, we got two more lives. I hope that- is that gonna reset the whole phase? Oh no! That's very punishing. I had almost finished him off. Okay, we're fine. That wasn't the reef slider. I think my tapping... My tapping ink finger is just getting a little fatigued. Right at the end, when we need it most. Oh! Reef slider! They're like little skeleton reef sliders, too. They're cooler looking. Ugh. Come on, Pearl. I gotta finish that portal off. I left it right on the edge. And he doesn't spin as fast with the stinger. when you're not so close to him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Picked a very underhanded time to try to reef slide me. We're doing okay. This is definitely going better than the tri Springer. Stomped on. Peace. Oh, run! <laughs> Certain specials. It's just better to run. Oh, I missed it.
Okay. Space is a little scary. Here we go. One Ultra Stamp is all we really need against him. And that's it. Okay, that was the last one. I was worried that uh, it reset the second phase, but we got him. Aww. Right on, now we can reconfigure this pallet too. Wow, oh, I lost again. Cheaters, hacks, no fair. Maybe think about giving up. Nuh-uh, no way. I'm gonna make a world of order where everyone can be happy. Smallest, more like ballisk. Because he's balling. No, he's balling. He's crying. We did it. I got my keys. Now we might have enough pearls for me to attempt that boss again and get the other weapon immediately, but... Yeah, what was my... My special for that... The Tri-Stringer was the Killer Whale. That was kind of mediocre compared to the, the damage that I got with that Ultra Stamp was way better. Too much of woo talk, yeah. <laughs> we have him and then Donnie and Shelly also do that. And we got our Octobrush replica, yeah. Smallest didn't back down an inch. Eh, I can respect the hustle. Okay, let's unlock some lockers. 30 pearls, thank you. I think we need like 500 though. Another dev diary, I've been saving those up. And then we should get one more pallet here. It's Big Man's! Ooh, he's got the triple ink strike, which I heard is really good. The suction bomb, triple ink strike. Hey, it's Big Man's palette. Aw oh, man, that Ian BGM alias is super fresh. You should've just gone with that stage name for everything. That's a uh, anagram for Big Man, if you didn't know Ian BGM. What? Are you telling me Ian BGM and Big Man are the same person? We've never seen them in the same place at the same time. Marina didn't know. She's too, she's too sweet, and innocent, and gullible. I got or naive. Cipher's got some new stuff. Accelerandos, and spiccados, and a dead sea toy piano, nostalgia mobile. Yeah, most of the items are like, I think probably from Marina's memories of being a kid. Celebratory pancakes. Got all these stickers, little pixel art. Agent 4 pixel art. I guess they couldn't do an actual caricature of her, you know, them because Agent 4 is different for everyone. Which, uh, I noticed something. I'm still saving up for some of these gear, maybe. They're pretty expensive. Let's see what else we unlock. Um, I noticed something. Uh, Agent 4, when you battle the clones of your inklings as one of the bosses, it has your hairstyle from Splatoon 2, because it had my spiky inkling hair. And I didn't notice that till I, I went back and looked at the footage. Also, you can do this. You can get Pearl to do it. Come here, Pearl. Come on, Pearl. <laughs> there we go. Aw, so cute. That makes me think of Pokemon a little bit, spinning around. Okay. There we go. That is unlocked. Now I could try to get the final keys from some of these other ones. What weapons do I actually want the, pe the replicas for? That's a good question. I'm tempted to use Big Man's because it seems like it'll be easy with the triple ink strike. And then... Yeah, see how it's, I don't even have enough to retry the final boss. I'm going to wait on that. What else could we use in terms of hacks? I think that attack damage boost probably made it a lot easier, too. Drone action slots. Let's get Pearl decked out. Okay. And then, is there anything else? This is also, there's like, I think there's ways to just kind of skip some of the floors. And make that easier as well. Hmm. 
This seems... Let's just get our mem bucks up. That's going to be better in the long run, right? I should have done this earlier. Thanks for hanging out, Jet Owl. I'm just going to spend all my pearls. Because <laughs> this you got to spend pearls to make pearls, right? So all your mem bucks get turned into that. Alright, that's good. Okay. I think I want to try Big Man's. I don't play Slosher that much, but I think this will be an easy one. Any weapons that I might struggle with, I think are good to do later, because you'll have all the packs and be more versed at the game by then. Look at the light show! I was wondering what was going on with these before, but it's the same as out there in the square. It goes with the music. Someone spent a bunch of time on this. They also look like D&D dice a little bit. Different polygonal shapes. Bye, creepy lobby concert. We gotta go. Ashley's here. Hey, Ashley. Thank you, Octomar. Appreciate you saying you're having a good time watching. Hmm. What do we... Oh, we have a suction bomb, right? So maybe I should get this explosion flash radius early. Let's do that. Steven, thank you so much. Steven and Ashley are here. <laughs> they've been very busy, but they're jumping in for the nice super chat. I don't know if that's going to pop up because it's one of those super stickers. Oh, speaking of that stuff, I learned. So normally as a YouTube like partner membership haver guy, whatever you want, <laughs> by having these memberships, I should be getting... A few free gifted ones I can give you guys every month, but I learned if you have a brand account, which I guess I do, they don't let you have them yet. So that's probably going to change in the future. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm not. I haven't gotten those yet. But once they change that, I will be giving out free gift memberships every month. That is something that I'm allowed to do. Once they allow me to do it. The slosh the thing. I forgot we went from the insanity that was floor 29 where I just like barely died surrounded by fish to now it's like there's barely any enemy. But I should enjoy it while it lasts. And also get used to the slosher. It feels so underpowered compared to my brush, but we just got to get our chips in order. Yeah, I don't know why I I guess I have a brand account. I don't know. I got the Swimbird brand, so that might just be what it's called when you apply for partnership, but I almost died there. That would have been real bad. Let the pencils do the work. Yeah, I guess I learned something that I, I apparently have a brand account, but I don't even know what that means, technically. Sprinkler, ink damage, or mobile drone gauge. Let's get Pearl upgraded sooner than later. Let's see if we can try for a Pearl, just Pearl doing everything run. Unless we get any unique slosher chips, I want to try to prioritize those. I'm curious how many chips I'm missing at this point. Also, should be using my bombs too. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Does it just explode instantly when I hit the thing? Yep, it's just like the Rainmaker shield. Probably more efficient for me to actually hit it, yeah. Uh oh. I wanted to hit that top. Everyone, back up. Okay, let's try this out. Supposedly... Yep. <laughs> it was already a little damaged, but I think the tripling strike will just 
destroy portals. Pearl with the sprinkler is probably really nice for weapons that don't ink their feet that well, I just realized. Alright, do we want ink mine? Or the gauge to go up? Oh, I, I wish I had thought earlier because I was I could have just tried only pearl chips, but I messed it up with the first one, I think. Okay, John says ink saver main, firing speed, and turf coverage are good for slosher if you see them. Okay, good. I'll keep my eye out. Even though I'm slightly, I think I'm doing a soft try for all pearl chips. Then we can get this beautiful teal. Cyan, is it? This is cyan. Oop, I threw that a little. Not in the right spot. That's okay, we can ink strike at all these fools. Take it off of me! <laughs> I threw it off the side. <laughs> I'm getting used to the slosher, okay? <laughs> getting used to having an actually useful sub-weapon as well. I had ink mine for a while. I shouldn't say that, ink mine was helping me. Ah, they run too fast. I keep running away before my bombs blow up. Reflection bombs take longer to blow up, right? There we go. Where's the other guy? Oh, Pearl's been laying mines. Yeah, they just run when they see your bomb. Sometimes they go right back to it, blow up. Mm -hmm. Link recovery, homing shots. Does it cost anything to shuffle the stuff? I forget how to even do it. We can look at our collection. More pearls. Yeah, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wow, only only six chips missing. Some other drone one. Yeah, I don't know what we're missing here. We got a lot of them. So beautiful. Someone mentioned that they feel like the game is more saturated now, like they upped the colors. But I think it's just the contrast of this mode having a lot of, you know, black and white color schemes. Hmm. Main damage sounds really good. But I kind of want to try homing shots with the slosher. I think that would be funny. Uh, but yeah, the other thing too, if you go to Incopolis Square, the Splatoon 2 Plaza, it does look really saturated in comparison to the Splatlands. Which, when the game came out, I know a lot of people were like, why is it so reserved looking? But I think that's part of the style of this is that there's a little bit of a deserty, badland aesthetic that is unique to this game. You know, the chaos, little little Mad Max s. Ooh, wow! One shot that guy. Trying to let Pearl do a little more, but she doesn't have some of her good stuff yet. Oh yeah, I have homing shots. How's that gonna work with this? Can't tell if they're really homing that well yet. Here we go. Wow, yeah. That's gonna be so nice for the bosses. Hmm. Oh, I did see that bug John mentioned. There's a weird... I think it's like a... It's a bug that gives you the R Return of the Mammalians, like a, a fuzzy ink effect, where it just turns everything bright pink. Very strange bug. Let's do this, because I'm using so much ink on my bombs. Hmm. 
Balance says they're missing one chip, number six. It's, it could be that it's unique to us. Oh, here we go. Thank you so much, Ashley and Steven. Became a member. Not to talk over all that, we got five gift memberships coming in. Thank you, guys. You're not even supposed to be here, and you're being so generous. Altamar became a member. Oh, I see the lock on the homing. It's when you're close enough, I guess. Um, what was I even saying? Oh, but some of the chips are so specific to weapon. Stellar Bones became a member. Beto says, what is Splatoon? I'm new to this game. <laughs> it's about squids and kids, basically. Mm. Sandman Games became a member. I'm gonna go with Ink Strike over Bomb. <laughs> Tman Beck became a member. <laughs> Tman. All right, if it doubles up these gifts, I'm gonna mute it now. But sometimes it plays them twice for some reason. Thank you again, Ashley and Steven. So generous. They're pulling double duty. They're spending all day being, you know, busy and then hanging out for the stream still. They're very dedicated mods. And everyone should be very nice to them. Now does the bomb work well on the... Nope, it bounces off the turbine. Enjoy Kirby's little dancing Octoline gift. Because it's playing all the gift memberships twice for some reason, but I muted it. Here's a little link mine for you. <laughs> Pearl's starting to get a little uh, sassy with all these guys. She's sassing the fish. Sassy Assassin. Ooh, satisfying. Splatting a bunch of them in a row is a very satisfying sound. Ashley's making up for the fact that I've been denied the gift memberships I was supposed to be able to use each month by, by donating some. Thank you. Do we, we already have Sprinkler, right? This is just another level. Ink Saver Main, this would definitely help. Or Splat, Ink Recovery, they're both good. I'm gonna go for Ink Saver, get the bonus. Okay, I think they're finally done. Can unmute. <laughs> Late birthday gift, oh, range chip saturation. Look at my cool scouter. Let's see what they look like, or what the, uh, oh, wow, because we have, so when you get the saturation early, it fills in so much. Main range is up, splash radius, piercing. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of power. How much range do I have now? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks more like the Dread Ringer or something. That's crazy. All right. Don't lay an ink mine up here, Pearl. <laughs> this thing is uh got the range of a charger now. I wish I could keep all these chips, but it's only for the bonus time. And I get to home in on them. This is a really good, well, Again, if I could keep the chips, this would be a really good start. Man, easiest floor so far. I don't know if we can unlock the full looking scouter thing, but we can get the salmon run. Scouter, replica, Dragon Ball looking thing. There was definitely a headgear that I could buy already, but I'm saving up, potentially. I haven't really been saving that well. That's what I'm telling myself. Ah, uh, killer whale? 
think they remain. Or damn it. I'm gonna try to get Pearl again. Try to get her as beefed out as we can. Get Pearl as ripped as we can get that little squid. Alright. Oh, I missed my range. I missed my... Well, I have my homing still, at least. This is a long zone. Why is the zone so long? Oh, I guess so we can bounce these guys around. There goes that one. They almost remind me of Koopa shells in some of the modern Marios. They can bounce all around. Like when you hit them into a little enclosed area like that. I didn't think about that, but yeah, they are very Koopa shell like. I'm not doing enough damage to take them out before they spin at me. Doesn't matter. I wish Pearl could get giant muscle arms and just start punching stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what we should go for, right? Get her Ink Strike beefed out. Although Ink Saver Main is... Let's do Ink Saver Main. I think I'm going to balance it a little more. That's just... That just makes it where she can do her Ink Strike faster. This is going to help me a little more. For when Pearl runs out of power. Burning through a lot of batteries. Okay, this... Oh no, I should have looked at the level. This is gonna be rigorous. This is when I could really use the uh, extra range. I wonder... Oh, I can kind of blow up those sprinklers with my bombs, at least. Or do this. Get out of there. Yeah, even without the range, you can keep the zone secured okay. Can I hit him from here? And yeah, they're a little, little too far. Definitely easier than it was with the dualies. Especially when you know you can glide around on our little beefcake here. She's not fully decked out yet, but she's getting there. Alright, much faster, much easier. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, the more I buff her up, I wonder if that does increase the chances of her getting locked out. Like, we've had a couple times those danger levels. Ashley's reminding me not to put all my eggs in one pearl. Or whatever. <laughs> so, we're up against a boss next. We'll cross-check that rejection. Or that reject until it's a lost wreck. No respect. She's rapping. I, I didn't realize till part way through. She's so cool. Well, best of luck. Most of this dialogue is... Pearl and Marina being a very obvious couple, and then Ock just being like, this is awkward, I'm glad that you're here. Oh wait, you're leaving to go fight a boss. Layer Rotor. I didn't get this boss for a long time, and now we keep getting it. Listen to its creepy baby noise. I don't know what's going on. Soul of a hundred toddlers trapped in that thing. Five nights at Rondo's. Oh, well, suction bombs bounce off of stuff. I was hoping they would explode automatically. Ooh, I bit off a little more than I could chew. Pearl! Ah, I'm gonna get bit! <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. 
I got a little too close and then forgot that they spawn all these enemies. It still gets you when you're in the ink. It still can see you. He's gonna launch his bombs. Okay, here we go. Wow. Jeez, that was overpowered. Sick and Pearl. This is almost a little preview of what it would be like if I had a charger. So I can just sit back and do this. It's crying. It's afraid. Feel bad for it. Wow, that was the easiest time I fought this thing yet. Ink Strike overpowered. Oh. It sings Ebb and Flow. There's a bunch of little nods to Off the Hook songs. Like, I've heard the leitmotif from Ebb and Flow and other, other songs throughout this as we've played. Ha ha ha! The smelly fin gelatin fell again. That boss had no bars while we tossed the big bomb. You two are so cool, it's scary. No joke, I'm glad we're on the same side. Every time Pearl raps, Marina just swoons. Hmm. I'm gonna go with... This would be good. When Pearl defeats enemies. We're going all teal and purple, mostly. Rotational floor. That's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of these. Oh, that's why it's rotational. Oop, I left that up there on accident. I can get it easily. There we go. Go kill your friends. No, not. <laughs> I meant the spinny thing. <laughs> that sounded very bad out of context. Okay. Bump that into the launcher. There we go. That's fun. Not quite sure why this is, other than I guess the tops are rotating. One went in without me even trying. Unfortunately, these things don't launch them that far up. You kind of have to give them a boost. I'm just gonna just spin as many Beyblades into them as I can and hope for the best. Where's the last one? There. Wow, suction bomb. They didn't even get any more powerful. They're just always that strong. My other worry is Pearl is going to become too powerful and then she just keeps blasting the infinity balls everywhere while I can't get them to go where I want. Just blaming it on her why it's taking a little longer. There we go. Right. Hello, Caleb. How you doing? Hope you're enjoying the stream. I do like the music a lot. Yeah, Willie Blue mentioned there is the one telephone song that it when you're playing the game and it hits your brain right is fun. But out out of context, I played it for Danny and she was like, "What is this music?" <laughs> Okay, main ink coverage, sticky ink, or ink saver main. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can uh, maybe max out ink saver main. See, I think not only do we have to get all the chips, but we need to max them out if we want to get the badges for it. I'm not as concerned about that. I want to. I want to get most of the physical rewards, like the weapon skins and stuff, and the lore. Right, what are we doing? Oh, these guys. I keep forgetting my bombs bounce off of everything but portals. 
go. Yeah, I'm not doing as much damage as I want yet. Oh, that's bad. Pearl. Oh, wow. I'm glad that I uh, activated my pearl portal. Back me up, Pearl. Almost died there. There we go. If you could pick pork to add to a side dish or the same or steak, you'd only eat pork or steak. An interesting question from Caleb. I mentioned earlier I really love uh, dim sum like pork buns, especially. I would have to pick that. I'm not a big steak person. I feel like that's an older, an older person thing. No offense if anyone loves steak, but I feel like a fancy steak used to be a lot cooler in yesterday. Like it would be a more prestige thing to eat. A nice steak is good, but I think pork is more versatile. Hmm. Tough choice. Maybe we should try to get a lot of these main chips while we're at it, too. Especially because I don't think... Oh! Sport color. Saturation. We got a lot of empty chip slots, so there we go. This is what it'll be like if I get my Ink Saber main and a bunch of other stuff up. Knockback. Homing. Some of the most fun chips. My ink tank is going off. Does that mean the chips are activated with it? Or? It's got like cool little blue ring octopus swirls going on in it. Oop. This guy won't die. There we go. There we go. Get it, Pearl. Wow, we launched the tower with all that. And they launched their little fish friends. It also kind of runs me in Zelda and Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom how the moblins can pick up and throw the bokoblin. It's almost how those giant fish do when they uh, launch each other. But in this, it's like if a moblin could launch a moblin. It's almost done. Finish it off. Oh! I couldn't... I threw it too far! Went right past the turbine. There we go. Actually, like steak over pork. I'm not... The only problem with pork is I think the, the standards for the industry are not great, so it's not the healthiest thing to eat. Also, I, I love eating animals as much as the next person, but I also, you know, factory farming, all that stuff is sad. Let's see. Let's keep doing that. Pigs are really smart, just like octopus. <laughs> they are one of the most intelligent animals, like an octopus. Where it doesn't, some areas, is it uh, India and certain places in the world? They actually make it where, like, isn't an octopus or a dolphin almost, like, considered enough of a sentience that it has more rights than, uh, certain animals? This isn't that off-topic for Splatoon, but weird thing to think about sometimes. Don't hit my orbs around. Please. Okay, that one can go there. If it was the only thing I could eat, if I had to pick like one thing to eat for the rest of my life, that's a whole other story and a very difficult question. Okay. 
I feel like something like seafood, if you could game it, is a very versatile thing to only eat. Ah, I wanted to launch in the air. Some of the fun of this is getting a fun freeze frame right at the end. Octopus passed a test meant for children. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're way more clever than they maybe give off. Lending to the feeling that they're kind of alien. They also have goat eyes. Or goats have octopus eyes. Who knows? Oh, I can max out Ink Save Remain if I do this one. Do that. Complete the chip. Hi, Bobby. They're new here. Welcome. I always appreciate anyone who's lurking or pops in that chimes in in the chat. Not that you have to. I appreciate even more that you're here and you're enjoying the, the stream. Uh-oh. Bad one to fall on because I can't ink these bathroom tile walls. Further in we get, the more uninkable surfaces there are. Can I do this and not... Whoa! Jeez. Ah! <laughs> I didn't mean to fall. I was trying to get the zone from back there. Get that guy out of here. He's the one of the worst. He's not the worst enemy, but he's definitely one of them. Pretty good uh, set for going back and forth and tossing bombs out. Looking out for those little weirdos. All right, easy. And we are halfway done. Prize palette was a fun one. I got that early. That was my second one, Bobby, that I did because I wanted that Splatana skin. Hey, did I tell you that you'll get more mem bucks for clearing harder floors? It's kind of self-explanatory. So if you ever run low on mem bucks, you could take on some tougher floors to fill your virtual wallet. This all reminds me of this old guy who used to say, "Work hard, hard work is the best spice for a meal," or something. Never paid that much attention. Is that cuttlefish or Octavia? Uh, I forgot about all about that. Then he'd start hollering, and out come the wasabi sticks. Yeah, that's the old man. They mean. Is this for real? I guess Octolines have weird old men, too. Do you know who they're talking about, Eight? Yes, of course. He loves his wasabi. Um, I, w I really hope, and maybe in Splatoon 4, we will finally see what Octavio looks like when he's not in his octopus form. He's kind of past being the villain at this point, right? Ink recovery. We got plenty to go to the vending machine. Let's do it. Hmm. We got a couple more and we got a boss coming up again. Gotta buy all the pearls. I'm sure the conversion rate from Membux to pearls is better when you get them this way. Tox? Nope, I don't need that. Splash damage. Eh, that could be useful. Do I have enough to try to get a ton of levels of it? Usually I can't buy this much because I spend too much. There we go. Enjoy your downtime, mate. Back to work. <laughs> We're going to get to work here for the rest of the stream, and then we got to work at Grisco later. Hmm. Tax size seems worth it. Let's do that. Okay. Magnets. It's something about danger magnet. They're gonna land on my head if I'm not careful. Try out my new explosion size. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, look at that explosion radius. I thought I still had squid attack. Nope, that wasn't smart. Pearl! <laughs> there should be a, like, emergency... Oh, there we go. She had the ink mine. She covered me. Emergency, I'm about to die. Help me, Pearl button. There we go. She used it on the turbine. Smart. Alright. Gotta get over this uninkable grate. I don't quite have the range to hit that from here. Go, go, go! Everyone's spawning in. It's like the normal tower if you wait too long. It slows down and goes backwards. Some of these tower levels would be a nightmare with a really close range weapon. We're gonna have the sniper, yeah. We played this one before because I remember getting stuck with that sniper back there. And the crazy telephone music, of course. We got this. Come on. All right. Are we going to redo the incident after this run? If I have enough pearls, but I did spend a lot of them, so I don't know if we will. We'll find out. Depends on how well I do, I guess, and how much mem bucks I save. Oh, I realize we're getting more because I, I did spend some to upgrade. Sprinkler. Flash damage. Which we already have a bunch of. Or splash radius. Hmm. Let's get the damage up as much as possible. Thank you, Josh. See you in the bog. Oh, I should mention the uh, big run got announced finally. There, it's not going to be the first weekend of the new season like it usually is. I think because it's so close. Like next Thursday, the season launches, and then it would be big run immediately after, which is a little soon. So it is going to be the weekend after, which is like the 10th, 11th, 12th, I believe. So, if you've been looking forward to Big Run, you got to wait a little longer than we normally would, but... Okay, there we go. Wow. I didn't even use all of them on the one tower and took it out. Not tower, but the portal is what I meant. Jeez. Ink Strike overpowered. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Have you been playing Golden Grizz Co. Weekend? I'm curious how some of the Salmon Runners of the Bog have been doing. Or finding it with that map, because I'm a little worried. Explosion knockback. knockback would be good. Although, yeah, I keep saying I want to get my... Uh, my splash damage maxed out if I can. Got a lot of levels to it. Okay. Check the zone. This is the one where they run across the zone. So if you keep attacking them while they're going over. Good way to get them out of there. Although, sprinkler guys are going to be an annoyance. Hey, how, he slipped through. Pearl, don't waste it on them. I had already killed the little guy and he... <laughs> she used it on him. Oop, uh-oh. Did not mean to fall. That's okay. My splash bomb is insanely overpowered now. Suction bomb, I mean. Wow, this kit is uh, 
could be a little too strong. Jeez. They barely got out of their portals. Or their gushers. Alright. Boss time. We got the Rondo already, so it's gotta be... I kinda wanna fight the little guys, the... Elusive Bounder. Ah, oh, man. I have not fought against the Parallel Cannon in a while. They, they're kind of the easiest one, though. You're just kind of fighting clones of yourself, in a way. Oh, this might actually... Ooh. This might go pretty, e pretty easily with, uh... <laughs> Whoa! With with my kit. Just gonna run. And then he does a pulse, right? I always forget. But you don't want to run up on him after that. Jeez. <laughs> The combination of my overpowered bombs and my ink strikes is making this a lot quicker than some of the other times I did this. I forgot, you don't want him to hit the bumpers, or he's gonna fly up and then... ...use a wave breaker, basically. Where'd he go? Oh, he got small! I was like, he disappeared! Oh, he just, uh... ...almost died. Are the little fish, the tiny enemies, supposed to be like garden eel? Because they get, they can like extend in a weird way. They look like uh, those little eels. All right, one more ink strike, Mike. Do it. No, I didn't even need the ink strike. Wow. I think this is less the slosher being good and more that the ink strike is crazy. <laughs> Juggling them is fun, yeah. Mine? Hmm. Ink recovery rate. I think I'm gonna try to save my money. Unless they somehow have the chip that I want to max out. My only worry is we're gonna get to the end like before. Because the Tri-Stringer, I had an easy time with it. And then the last boss. It's that dang reef slider. It's not even the stinger can be a little troublesome, but the reef slider is just the worst. Lights out tower. Oh, I didn't realize there wasn't a floor there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it fell all the way down. <laughs> That's part of the challenge though. Breaking your ankles. Oh gosh, we have the manic Telephone song because we're at the I think it gets crazier the The higher up on the tower you get the music intensifies. So this is the most intense version of it Enjoy everyone it's Nice that I can kind of see where the enemies are because they're taking damage in the ink Oh, one more disc. I got it. Where is the tower? I lost it. Down there. I forgot I couldn't destroy that portal. Breaking through the checkpoints with one special. 
Funny how some of these specials are just like way better than they are in normal multiplayer. Kind of like Salmon Run. Some things are just better suited for PvE than PvP. I don't know if they're ever going to reach the person they're trying to dial, but maybe they should talk to the operator instead, because they don't seem to be having a good time with it. Wow. <laughs> Speed run. Alright. All the ones that you get when moving seem really good. Main damage also good. This is tempting because it's funny. Guess it depends on if I'm gonna lean into using my bombs, which we can try that. Just launch everything off the stage. hoping to at least get the tri-stringer if we can. I don't know if I'm going to do another run after this, but my goal is to eventually get 100% of this done, so. Those dang sprinklers on the back of the Napoleon fish that are so much trouble. Disc, disc, disc. Physical media is coming back, baby. Ah. I have a huge bin of CDs that my poor parents have held on to. They used to buy albums all the time as a kid, and then, you know, things went the way they did. Definitely goes with the throwback theme that this game has, where it's a lot of like nostalgic stuff for maybe the developers. <laughs> the fact that they still have like CDs, even though we're using this like feature matrix technology. <laughs> that was a cool shot of my little guy. Damage, that is always really good. Man, how many levels? You could really, like, beef your damage up to maybe 150%. Sticky ink is tempting as well. Go for that. Do I own a gramophone? No. When we had to clean out my one grandparent's house after they passed, uh, they did have a gramophone. I swam immediately. How do I get my ink back? I guess I gotta use items. Um, but they had a gramophone with old cylinders and stuff. That was cool. Oh, there's a huge grind rail on this. I can't even get up there to get that. I gotta walk around. Like I'm not some magical octopus thing. Yeah, I don't know if this no swimming thing is gonna work for me. It's against my base brand, you know? I'm supposed to be doing the tower. I gotta fly everywhere. This feels so strange to not swim in this game. Power launched all the way over there when I wasn't looking. I'm just trying to keep my finger off the squid form button. And really relying on items to get my ink back.
We keep getting the telephone song like every time now. This really reinforces how much of this game and the movement is based on swimming and moving around. Because it just feels so wrong to not be able to swim. The disc! The disc! I need my pearl disc. Uh-oh. That's bad. I think it disappeared before I could get to it. This is going real bad for me. There's just too many enemies. Ah! Yeah, I don't know if that was worth the mem bucks for me to risk that. Where's the tower? Well, this is gonna refresh everything at least. Be on this side and do it, right? Got a little overrun there. Oop. I'm so slow without my swimming ability. I can't dodge these snipers that well either. Come on, Pearl. Keep us alive. Okay, this might do it. Can't believe I managed to pull that off without swimming. No swim was a mistake, yeah, definitely. Do you need the... Hmm. The other whale. Knockback is fun. Flat drone. Game. Well, if we're going mostly Pearl. Look, I've been trying to upgrade Pearl. Let's do that. Kind of forgot about that challenge. They weren't giving me Pearl chips for a while there. I didn't even ride the grind rail that whole time that I could run. Wow, look at this MC Escher looking place. I was paying attention to the backgrounds early on a lot of the time, and then as we were playing more and more on my first run, I just kept ignoring them more, because I was so focused, but it's getting real creepy and atmospheric as you go up, and I can swim again. I almost forgot. Okay, so we got portals. Bombs are gonna make short work of this. Alright, pay attention, because we're going to speedrun this one. Or I was. Ugh. <laughs> so overpowered. Bomb plus ink strike combo. Okay. Gaining coverage, that could be really good. Sound wave damage. Hmm. That would help Pearl. Or the sprinkler. Have I? No, I've gotten that before, I guess. Let's get this one. Pearl chips. I don't know if that would be good. <laughs> They'd be a little spicy. I could see Pearl having her own brand of uh, tie-in chips.
Ooh, jeez. The enemies in this are a little more intense and numerous than I was realizing at first. Back here. Are these called Allegro? I can't remember. They have some fast sounding name. <laughs> the one in the center was screaming as we stopped. Pearl Tato chips. I think, don't they, in Kelp? No, Kelp Dome, obviously they grow kelp. I'm gonna say, they grow something. Made it. We're not home free yet, eh? Hey, even if you don't get all the way to the top, we're, we'll record all your run. You talk to me outside the spire, I can help you resume a run that didn't end so well. Yeah, I wish she had told me that a little too. Like, I knew you could resume, I just thought it only kept your most recent one. So I was worried about starting a new one. And I wasted a bunch of pearls. Then what do we got to lose? Might as well go for broke every time. Hehehe. <laughs> Not sure broke is what you should be going for. Pearls broke after buying her space jacket. That's why, probably why they're on the world tour, to try to get her fortune back. Oh, we need another life. Benny machine it is. Okay. What do we got? Is this a piece of armor, this heads-up display? I can't tell. It's kind of subtle. Well, not subtle, but it's not as... <laughs> it doesn't look as armor-like. It's very unsubtle, but it uh, doesn't look as much like a piece of armor. And I'm not getting these mines, even though explosion size with the mine would be pretty funny. Won't stock color chips if the palette is full. Instead, you can buy pearls and sub or special weapons. Ooh, I didn't know that. It only will have those. If you max out. Okay, ink recovery. One point per inking surfaces. That sounds really good. Hmm. Do that. Subtle giant antenna sticking out of my ear, yeah. <laughs> Bringing gateway. What are those? Reef shark? Or whale shark, maybe? Ominous dubstep. Got another one down here. Launch it. <laughs> no. <laughs> my explosions are too strong for my own good here. Where the heck did it go? Okay, there. Oh man, we not only did one land on it, the other one did too. Four, eight balls. Get back here. Yeah, see, they pop up like weird little eels. I guess maybe say so you can see them when they're farther away. Okay, that one needs to go there. Don't. That would be horrible if I landed outside on accident. Just slowly s float down. Did the chart you did us talking about the 3DS being left behind by the Switch make you actually want to pick up your 3DS again? That's funny. More power to you, though. I was never big on portable gaming. I mean, it depends on your lifestyle, but I'm a homebody, so I didn't really use it portably ever. Hmm. Main range could be fun. 
especially with stuff that we're playing on the channel, because obviously I can't record it if I'm not somewhere where I can record it, the computer, so. Didn't ever really use it portable. Uh. Lights out plus ink coating, wow. Dastardly. Eventually, I gotta memorize these maps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh. I'm in a real bad spot. Save me, Pearl. Find these uh, guys. Too much ink. Hard to catch him in the dark. All three of them were right here. I think the other one got away though. I saw you. There we go. That was a scary one. Crunch Mun, how you doing in the chat? They said, hey, big man fan. <laughs> Ground sprinkler. Let's finally get this sticky ink. I was trying to level up Pearl, but mostly just to unlock all the stuff. Uh, they got close to beating the whole thing, but messed up the final boss. Well, if you watched the last stream, I definitely sympathize with that. I've beaten it three times now, but I had some problems with the Tri-Stringer. Which we're hopefully going to remedy after this. Depends on how many Pearls I have, I guess. Stuck. I don't know where I am. There we go. I led my ink strikes a little too far, far and fast. Oh, <laughs> broke my armor at the end, but. Pretty quick for the last floor before, before the boss. Stinky ink. No, it's sticky. Until we get smell of vision. We're just about at the control room, but we gotta go through Smolisk again, huh? This is gonna keep happening until we reconfigure every single pallet. Unless Smolisk decides to give up, probably. Ugh, give me a, cut me a break here. New plan eight. This time, we're gonna make Smolisk see reason. Pull off one of his tentacles. No. Don't torture the little baby octopus. Who suggested that? Okay. Forgot how close we were to the boss. Look at the beautiful city below for one second. You're up, eight. It's your turn to try and talk some sense into Smallisk. I'm a mute protagonist. I don't care what you say. My mind is made up and I can't argue me. And you can't argue, argue, argue me out of it, man. The uwu talk is very difficult for me. I'm not too proud to do it, but it's, t it's tough to read sometimes. The silent tweetment won't work on me. Whatever you're going to say, spit it out, please. Uh, I forgot how shy Aid is. Humph. Are you making fun of me? I'll turn you moans into... Papaccio. That's some type of food, right? Or is it a music thing? I don't know, it's Italian. History three peats over Lorder. Changes the title every time. See how much my bombs do to this thing. 
Oh, I can just throw it right into it, I forgot. Wow. And then do this. Get him, Pearl! Oh my goodness. Overpowered. Let's not speak too soon, but... That's all of them already. Jeez. <laughs> I'm going for a new record. Okay, reef slider. Go, go, go. Fine. What do we got? There's one on the other side. Not paying attention to the stinger. Finish him off, Pearl. Or I'll do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so easy compared to the other runs. I think putting all that into the splash bomb or suction bomb and the Rice Stringer. Just made short work of him. Scratch one more pallet off the list. Why can't I win? Everything is so unfair. Everyone helped make the member, so it should be the world everyone wants. Everyone made it? I thought the members was a, jo a solo marina joint. I'm sick of looking for you, dum dums. Go away, putty please. He farted at us. Weird little baby. All right. Might be the best run yet. Uh, still not quite enough pearls for me to attempt the tri trigger though. Why don't they just eat smallest? <laughs> a lot less tricky fights with him eating. Plus no woo voice. That's a good point, I guess. But then we wouldn't have a final boss. I give up arguing with Smollisk. I'm just gonna do what I, it's, it's just gonna do what it's gonna do. Ignore that thing and keep at it. All right, we're not getting a new pallet this time. But we did get some pearls. Awesome, that's about half the lockers open now. Can't stop until the other half are open too, eight. I wanna see what happens next in Marina's dev diary. Pearl, don't drool over my diaries, I'm right here. Also, please stop reading them out loud. <laughs> I'm gonna do that later, Marina, don't worry. We'll wait and read them all out loud together and have a story time. Lore dump. Oh, that might be enough pearls actually to attempt this. Am I gonna spend all my pearls and try it? The problem is, is it more just I have a bad set of chips for that weapon? I'm feeling better about it, but... We got a new sticker. Dream Tapestry. I like this first dream tapestry. Cause it's got that weird little creature on it. Oh, we unlocked another piece of gear. It's Marina's weird controller VM. It's the Virtual Boy controllers or goggles. That's pretty cool. Tempted to buy that. But I'm not sure what the other two are yet. So I don't know if I wanna use my pearls yet, especially cause we could rematch the boss. Hmm. Alright. So, I do have increased damage. I have... Better attack now. 
So it's possible, and also Pearl can do more stuff at once. It's possible this fight could be easier than it was last time I retried it. So, oh, it's actually cheaper if I do it on this one for, for whatever reason. I'm going to do it. Wish me luck here. This is a lot of my money, but I also don't want to have to run through all 30 floors with the bow again. So here we go. I'm ready to do this thing, hopefully. And get... Then we'll have all of Deep Cut's pallets unlocked. And completed. Just, if you see the Reef Slider, yell, because that's what kills me. Thank you, Ash. I appreciate you hanging out. One more go with smallest gear. We'll get some more lore as well, I think. Without having to do the whole run again. This is going to be the opposite of that last victory run we just did. Back again, you dum-dums never warn. Yo, I got a question. What do you do with the peeps who made the meme-verse? Mem-verse, sorry. Harumph, <laughs> I don't have to tell you dum-dums nothing. But maybe I'll tell you if you beat me. Let's have another fight, please. They're obsessed with fighting. Maybe they are, uh... The Forsaken Remnant. Maybe they are related to Octavio. Maybe they're little Octavio, like Lil Judd. Yeah, the problem with this build is I have Toxic Mist. As well as the Killer Whale, which is not doing me any favor. But my damage is better now, thanks to... Uh, chips I got. No. going a lot better. But this is also the first phase. This is the easy part. I kept dying on the third phase. If I could target this and go through both of them, that would be amazing. Uh, that didn't quite work how I wanted. I'm gonna lay down some ink so that we don't get stuck where I can't run away. Doing the easy one. Those little globs barely do anything, and then he has his crazy uh, reef slider that's busted. Trying to aim at it, but it locks onto the enemies first. Go. Got all three lives for the third phase. I just gotta play this very careful. Okay, we avoided it. <laughs> Oh, 
This side is also so narrow that it can be frustrating when uh, it knocked off the edge because of it. The special is not aiming up. <laughs> Oh, Pearl! Good timing. Blocked him right as he was going to attack me. Okay. What is that? Oh, the easy one. Run, run, run! Everyone's <laughs> no. yelling Reef Slider. I really like the look of the creepy Reef Sliders that he sends out, but they are not fun to deal with at time. Don't aim down! Killer Whale is not doing me any favors. It's crazy how much worse the special feels than the Ink Strike. No, no, no! I got stuck on the Ink Rail. I did not mean to swim up the Ink Rail, but it magnetized me there. Oh, that might be it. Ah, we were so close. Ah, now I gotta do a bunch of them again. It's so frustrating when you die in this phase. And the killer whale is like, unless I'm really close to it, it does not lock on to the portal. You have to be right upon it. There we go. Killer Whale decent for taking out the enemies, but is really not great for the actual fight against the portals. I'm going to a different one. It made me run around the whole place. It also just doesn't do that much damage to the portals, I feel like. Go, go, go! Okay. So close! There we go. This will be a great time to get one more piece of this disc. Yeah, see it did like nothing to the portal even though I tried aiming right at it. Whereas the Ink Strike just trivialized this whole fight. So close! Was that the last one? Oh, there's another one down there. <laughs> Get so close to 
taking it out, and then I gotta run around the battlefield from the reef slider. We should compare times from this and the, uh, and the triple ink strike I was just using. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, this is it. That's what I was waiting for. Stop running, get back here. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Jeez. Why? My luck with this weapon is horrible. I keep getting all the specials that are so annoying. Kill it! There we go. Jeez, that was so much harder. Thank you for everyone cheering me on. The tri Nose Tri Stringer Incident Part 2. Part 2 The Thrilling Conclusion Where We Survive. Alright, we spanked you yet again. So, are you gonna spill how you're connected to the making of the members? Squee! <laughs> Take no prisoners. Pearl is my favorite pearl. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said squee before. You drive a hard bargain, but I'm a good AI who keeps its promises, so I'll tell you a little bit. In their hearts, all the Octoling engineers who helped build the Memverse shared a philosophy. It wasn't conscious, but somewhere inside they all wanted a world that would never change. So you're saying those desires got mixed into the Memverse? And that's how order was born? But that, but what good would a world without change do then? That's a good question, and you meanies are never gonna know the answer. Yikes, this one's a tough nut to crack. So are order and smallest actually the same thing? Like the computer virusy thing, order seems so different from the little smallest. Guess we'll find out eventually. Okay, thank you everyone. I'm glad that we got over that hump. Ooh, I can spin my guy around. We got our cool new bow. It lights up really cool. I didn't realize, like, all the weapons have little neon -y parts. Okay. Hmm, what's so great about a world that never changes? Do you get it, eight? Want to crack up a locker? Yep, yeah, way ahead of you. Merch's pal. I didn't know Merch even fights. He's got a Luna Blaster, Wave Breaker, and Curling Bomb. That seems tough to use. Merch, oh yeah, that little squirt. Little squirt. Girl, he's been taller than you for a while now. I heard that Merch found a job out of town. I'd love to catch up with him for a chat. You know, we found a lot of pallets so far, but none of them have been eights. You're right, but I'm definitely getting a sign from eights, a signal from eights pallets somewhere in those lockers. And there's one pallet left, so it must be eight. So let's keep collecting keys until we find it. Hmm. Um, Merchie, yeah, I forgot, was from Minkopolis Square originally, so that, no, you know, they knew him when he was little. Pearl and Merch are almost like Krillin and Goku, where Pearl has stayed small and Merch had a growth spurt like Goku. Oh, I don't have any more keys. Well, maybe got one more run in me. What weapons haven't we? We've, we've done four out of... There's still six left. A blaster would be a crazy change of pace. Some of these are actually almost done if I continued them. Let me see. Can we skip ahead with one of my runs I already did? Oh, look at all this. Accordo. That's the anglerfish thing. Peggio. I know that because it killed me before. Inseparable anglerfish. anglerfish. Mambo. Okay, that's panicking alum. Mambo are the quick ones. Lento is the Napoleon fish. Liguendo. I don't know if I'm going to remember all these. Celerando is the spinny guy. Oh, look. 
Pixel Merch, Pixel Octavio, and Pixel Sheldon. Very cute. Charger is fun. Or Brella. We, I think I'm almost... Brella, I only have one key. And also, or, yeah, I'm missing two and missing one with Charger. Not Charger. Fluttershot. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for hanging out, Octomar. I appreciate your enjoying thing. Oh, I got to floor 23 with my splatter shot. Maybe I should just wait and uh, see. That's the homing arpeggio. It killed me. I'll wait till I have more pearls for that one, because then we can just continue there, and I won't have to play through the whole thing again. Brella, we could actually continue at floor 11. Hmm. Is it worth spending the pearls on it? I use them to unlock. Now we don't have enough of that. I think I got most of the stuff that I wanted. Membucks rewards are worth it though. There we go. Yeah, how far? Oh, I forgot we can get more pearls with this. Only three because I found one chip. Alright, we have all of the range chips. We are missing, we're also missing the sixth chip. Oh, it's for Splatling. It's specifically a Splatling chip. And then this is Brella, Splatling. I didn't realize you could see Dooley's. Oh, I didn't buy the dodge roll thing with the Dooley's. So I wonder if we can't get that unless I play a little more with Dooley's. And then one more Pearl chip. So if I play with Brella, we can get this other chip that we're missing. Or splatling it. There's two chips I'm missing with that. Hmm. Kind of makes me want to play with the splatling. Thanks, Aunt Kiwi. I appreciate it. They've been watching a long time. Splatling could be fun. Hmm. The charger turns into the Grisco charger, basically, at the end. That would be great. And between finishing up the Brella... Or we could get more locker keys with the Splatling. Roller would be fun. This is a tough choice. I gotta do all of them eventually. I might try Splatling because then we can unlock more chips faster. People are down for that. And it's also has a bias towards pearl chips. So maybe we can get the pearl palette fully unlocked. Yeah, we can get more chips that way. That's what I always think to charge you. I'm not great with the splatling. I do like it, but this will be good practice. I was kind of thinking of change, saving charger for the end because I was like, I don't think I can, uh, can do that great with it. Ah, uh, then we could get double chips or I can get a chip I don't have. This is tough because the double chips are very tempting but also the chip I don't have is going to give me more pearls, so I might do that. It'll probably pop up again. But I want to make sure I get it. I want to get all the chips. Alright, let's see how overpowered we can get this thing. I forget, we have Splash Wall and is it Booyah Bomb? Yeah. As much as I like the ink changing colors, look, it's very, very sparkly and fun. Oh, I have not done this level for sure. It has a fun uh, look to it when it's just the default sort of pinky palette. I got stuck behind the rail. Can I hit all the way over there? I thought these were going to chain together and kill all of them, but... Oh, you don't even have to booyah, it just does it automatically. I thought I was going to have to booyah, but there's no one to booyah back. It should have pearl booyah for you. Alright, we got drone items, so pearl's going to drop items for me. Hmm. Let's get the splat gauge up for the drone, I think that'll be good. Alright, if I don't forget, I might try to go all pearl chips if we can. Because we have a bias towards them with this weapon. 
All the weapons have like a primary bias chip color and a secondary. So this is the time if we're gonna go pro mode or whatever. <laughs> Stay away. It went over his head. This is pretty good at busting the portals. Because I haven't upgraded my weapon at all, and it's doing a pretty decent job. Gotta remember not to use all my ink up so fast. Double armor. charges slower in the air, right? Which is like, there's a couple of weapons, like isn't Swiffer one of the ones that charges the same speed in the air? So you can jump around with it. Just, <laughs> the crates do kind of look like the Crash Bandicoot crates. Luckily we don't have to break all the crates to beat the level properly. Mobile drone charge. Well, these aren't pearl chips, technically. How do you... Isn't there a way to shuffle the chips? I can't remember if I have the ability to do it. Hmm. Well, now we can see our new chip. There it is. Yeah, how do you shuffle the chips around? I've never done it. And then I, I really have to remember there's a red chip for the splatling and a support chip. Purple chip. Maybe I can't. Did I not unlock the ability to shuffle them? That's okay. Uh, this seems good. I was trying to only use one color, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I might not have paid for the hack that lets you shuffle. Launch him. <laughs> Not too shabby, power wise. Go there. Oh, it's stuck. I gotta take it the other way. Or just hit these into him. <laughs> Very satisfying. This way, please. That's a fun sound. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, just automatically Booyah charges. Nope. Go back the other way. Uh, <laughs> okay, it breaks the wall. Oh, oh, no. Not a lot of finesse with this weapon. For me, at least. Gotta get used to the finer details of this thing. How you doing, Beto? Throwing splat bomb. There we go. That's the good stuff. Run speed up actually would be good with this weapon. Ketchup or mustard? That's tough. I would have said ketchup in the past because it's very versatile. But mustard, I think, actually goes on more stuff. And I like a really spicy mustard, like a horse radish mustard. Hmm. Nintendo Online Virtual Console Stream Ever. Charge you. You only have to wait a few days to get your wish. This is gonna be pretty good for getting the tower going. Ooh. 
Now Pearl's got her overpowered splat bombs. Kinda wish the splatling that you get for this mode was uh, ballpoint or something so I could charge while I'm firing. It is nice to have a little range after some of the other weapons I was playing. I just noticed the little vial in the center of the turbine fills up with ink when you shoot it. Yeah, I think Booyah Bomb is definitely going to be worth having because... If I uh, happen to get in a sticky situation, I get a little invincibility, too. Flash damage. I guess that would help with Booyah. We might just uh, check the vending machine, even though we have almost no money. You're welcome, Aunt Kiwi. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Ooh. That's worth spending my bucks on, maybe. Quick charge. Oh, that would be really good, too. Oh, no. Do I want Fizzy Bomb? I think I would actually rather have the Quick Charge. Although this is really good as well, but... Charging faster, I think, is, is central for this weapon. I'll keep my Splash Bomb a little longer. Or Splash Wall, sorry. I want to actually use it properly. <laughs> the, the wall, that is. Main range, main damage distance. Hmm. Let's do damage. Range, I feel like I got a decent amount of range already. Bull dot floor. <laughs> Is this one of the... Oh no, it's the feeding these guys, but we have these launchers. Hard to angle it correctly. Ooh! Jeez! Help me quick charge! I did not see them there. <laughs> well, that works really well for those guys, because they cannot dodge the Booyah in time. I don't need this. We're not going to get all the disc pieces. Oops. Can't get my squid jump going. There we go. It was just a matter of principle there at the end. And yeah, the range is slightly, slightly lower than I want. There. If only I'd got that chip. That's okay. Yeah, wall, I probably could have used to block the mambos from running around. I remembered their name. There we go, drone splat bomb. This could be really funny with splatling. I think I want to try to get all my pearl chips, though. And down high tower. Ooh, good bonus. Got some lime ink now. Lucky. So, armor drops, bottle drops. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Got mambos again. Oh, that's too far. <laughs> Look! Ran out of ink. He dropped his bomb off the edge. Longest ink rail in history. Okay, let me... 
They're not going to run towards it if I do that. I saw someone mention, yeah, why do some of the gelatins glow if they're alive for too long? I wonder why that is. Like, it, I wonder if it makes their damage stronger if they're living for a while. Something. To encourage you to splat them and not leave them all alive the whole time. Bye! <laughs> Teal and orange is a good color combo. That might be my favorite ink blend. Although I miss the yellow and like cyan, teal, whatever from the last game. Damn it. Get this flat bomb leveled. Hi, Somberlene. Haven't seen you in a little while. Welcome to the stream. Bombarded Relentless does not sound fun. <laughs> Oh, picked a bad time to fly in because this thing is not up. Okay, here we go. Coming back up and then make this straight across. Here we go. Ooh! Jeez. Give me that disc! this one shot a portal nope it landed one of the little springs on top of the portal <laughs> wow why are you guys so fast uh-oh too many little guys at the portal Too bad. Yeah, they're more. That's what I kind of assumed. When the enemies glow, they're more powerful. Because we got one of those uh, danger modes where they were all glowing. But I'm just curious why they glow after a while. I'm not, I, I kind of think it's like if you leave them alive too long, they get strong. To encourage you to take them out. Let's try the vending machine. Ah. Uh, the Reef Sliders again. Somberlene got to the final boss with the Brella. And the Reef Sliders got him. I wonder if the Brella shield can block them. The Reef Sliders are so unforgiving sometimes. You gotta really make sure you got tons of room to maneuver and get some ink down, especially. Um I max this out. Yeah, there we go. I don't have enough for the burst bomb, but that's fine. I like being able to change my sub and special, but some of some of it, the fun is like having to play with the palette that you're given. I'm gonna try to use the splash wall more instead of just throwing it way too far <laughs> and it not actually helping me. Tony, welcome. I just finished the DLC. Oh, got this guy again, pinging Marcial. I'm having a good time with it. Still have six weapons left, including this one. I'm thinking I have a little more range than I do on this. Launch a bunch. Well, I can't hurt it when it's in that mode. Ooh. 
battlefield is huge. <laughs> they also they gotta learn the range of this thing because I'm constantly like slightly too far away to hit. Nice start having a booyah bomb that you don't have to booyah to charge. That did nothing. I guess it didn't hit the right spot. It feels a little bit like the tornado when all the fish are flying out of the sky. Tornado wave and salmon run, I mean. Let's see if this booyah does anymore. He's open this time. There we go. Much better. Uh oh, you don't want to do that. I don't think my splash wall is going to help. Got destroyed. Here we go. Helped a little bit. Whoa. So hard to dodge these killer whales sometimes. It's beautiful. They're spinning through the sky. The big I just realized that the uh, lentos or whatever they're called, the big guys go after the boss. Oh, look at that. Fireworks. But yeah, the big fish will go after the boss like they do with the 8-ball. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Mint ice cream ink. Yum, yeah. Octomar. Now I want ice cream. No, I'm going to have pork buns as a reward for finishing the stream. Gotta say, you make that look easy. You don't get nervous fighting those things. They're a pain, but not really scary. Fighting Marina in the first tower was way scarier. What? Really? Obviously. Wondering if you were stuck that way forever, never going back to normal. I was scared. Oh, pertly. Uh, times like this, eight. I'm glad you're here. I think we got this dialogue earlier. There's good a bit, of di good bit of dialogue because I it hadn't really uh, repeated much that I can remember. Shot spread reduction could be interesting. I haven't really tried that one, but also I'm going for mostly pearl palette. It was, yes, yeah, like a fireworks disco ball. Oh, I did the same thing. Yeah, Clarodactyl, I bought the color chip bias upgrade instead of the double chip rate. I think I did the exact same thing you did. I'm a little torn on Marina's hacks because they're all useful, obviously, but I kind of want to not buy all of them necessarily and make it too easy. Oh, launched that one a little too far. Oh, that's okay. Right here. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Get back up there. Flip, flop, flip, flop. And then the other one is right over there. You want the orb, you gotta get the booyah. We were talking about Dragon Ball earlier and I keep thinking about the booyah is the, called the nice bomb. In uh, the Japanese version because it's supposed to be like the spirit bomb. Charged up by the will of others helping you. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should look into how to reset the, the floors. Quick charge, that would be good. Get more of that, maybe. 
Although, hmm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into quick charge more. Cause yeah, I think if I ever want to attempt to only have one color palette, I gotta be able to reset the, the floors. Oh, Valiant mentioned because uh, goldfish and parrotfish and stuff eat corals, so maybe they're the fact that they have these kind of weird fish enemies going after some of the stuff is alluding to the bleached coral thing. Wasn't there was something in one of the trailers that almost looked like a weird nuclear site that people noticed, but then I haven't seen anything come up alluding to that necessarily being anything they were thinking about. There's a lot of, you know, subtext to this game that the developers aren't necessarily always going to say are some of the inspirations and influences. But yeah, I think some people were like, oh, is Inkopolis Square going to almost be like a nuclear fallout zone? But it's all a simulation right now. Keep wanting to stop the Mambos with the wall, but it hasn't been working out for me. There we go. Okay, almost halfway done. Double armor drop chips. That could be good. Go for it. It's a danger floor, though. Yeah, if you ever want to make it harder on yourself, you can reset all the hacks, and I think you get more rewards for it. That might be fun to try once I figure out what weapon I like the most. Girl, keep me alive. I don't know if we're doing this. Or I gotta run. Yep, let's run for it. Oh no, my armor! Oh, good thing I got that armor. Uh, no, Pearl! <laughs> Speaking of trying to make it harder on yourself. If I had reacted a little quicker, I think I could have gotten out of that and floated back. Very tough. This is remind me when I first started this, way back two days ago, when uh, sometimes it felt like you couldn't actually destroy any of these portals fast enough before the enemies got you. But in reality, not too bad. I almost have a booyah. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that rail there. Snipers are not fun when the lights are out. Bye. Hmm. Not sure the best way to go about getting over there. Shoot. 
jeez. Getting cornered. Oh, my disc. No more spawning. <laughs> Look at my little octo face. Yeah, I remember trying to do that with one of my first runs, I think, with the Brella. I just kept running and running in circles and I couldn't kill him fast enough. We've grown so much in such a short time. Okay, I'm definitely getting Ink Strike with Pearl. Lights Out at least is not as scary as it is in, the, in Zelda. <laughs> I remember being so careful in the shrines with the light being out, so I was just... You never know what's creeping around. Could be a sleeping Hinox or whatever. Oh, it's only one zone? I think this is... is it easy? Normal, okay. I got so used to some of these levels being brutal that... Weird seeing an easy level. Yeah, fly over that. Trying to get my zone. Get him, Pearl. This sprinkler guy sneak up on you. Uh-oh. The armor of the Booyah saved me. I held on for a little bit because I saw that bomb under my feet. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is a... Uh, I hope I do well in the Golden Grisco weekend and, and Big Run coming up because this feels like a training ground. Since I've been playing this so much. Okay, Sprinkler. We already have, right? Ink Saver. Let's get the Gauge Charge. Splatling is going better than I thought it would, originally. Still have not seen the Splatling exclusive chips, there are two of them. Pearl's little flaps are so cute. Yeah, this one. You can kind of dodge the sniper shots if you have fancy footwork. That disc. Thank you. A great time there we go I was about to say pearl this would be a great time for you to drop an ink refill on me she has her special pearl items right I saw someone, I do like the enemies, I saw someone mention they're like, this could have been its own, like, spin-off game. I do wonder if it would have done as well without having it linked in with the main game, but yeah. I, I always love all the creature designs in these. Yo, Ak, you gonna let me hear any of those funny marina stories you got saved up? But what, what, Pearl? Let me think. There was a time she talked to nobody about Escobar. Okay, we did get this earlier. Starting to finally get repeat dialogue in the elevator. Talk about Marina being a nerd and talking way too long about stuff. Relatable, as you can tell from the stream. Let's see, let's get the double chart. Stack up all those pearl chips.
Oh, we even got a bonus. Saturation. Range. Not, it's pretty spread out, but at least I got a bunch of stuff. Hindrance damage. This is one of those ones where the jumpy guys will come out of here probably, right? Yep. It's almost all jumpy guys and sprinklers. He went right over my wall. Kind of nice being able to sit back here. What was that? Pearl just launched an ink strike behind us. Oh, there is a guy behind us. Never mind. Sorry, Pearl. Keep doing what you're doing. I thought she just kind of wasted it for some reason. Pearl tossed me some armor. Thank you. Oop, the range isn't kicking in yet. Well, that's fine. No hacks run yet. Alejandro is the one that kept trying to get me to use the bamboozler normally, and now they want me to use no hacks. I guess it depends on the weapon. I'm I'm down to try that, but I almost think that would be a good final thing to do. Drone gauge, ink recovery, main ink coverage. I'm just really gonna try to get all my pearl chips. Get that pompadour tentacle glowing as blue as possible. Oh, if you drop, if you shoot the sniper towers from the top, they do stop, drop down like the uh, stingers. Yeah, they resemble the stingers visually, but not really gameplay-wise. Other than that, they seem more like the what can we call it, octoline or octarian snipers. Oh, let's test it out. Let's see if Somberline was lying. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a lot easier to do with the Splatling than it was with some of the other weapons I was using. I kept using close range weapons for a while. I'm just gonna hit this. Give the tower a bit of a boost. Just going around my wall. He survived. They kind of the snipers look a little bit like a eel, but also a, a seahorse on top, like a seahorse sitting on a pile of bones. Nah, we didn't need it. <laughs> well, the towers also explode on the rest of the enemies, says Alondra. Yep, that's good. A lot of the enemies, I like the ones, uh, kind of like with Salmon Run, the ones that have a benefit when you beat them, like the fish sticks. I like the Celerando tops that you can hit into stuff. Turn charge, or let's try to get Ink Strike all the way up. I'm not worried about the difficulty of the floors as much as I am about the chips at this point. I'll try to get a bunch of them. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is the one where it has to... Oh, wow! Okay, I launched it all the way over immediately. I wonder if I can do the same with this one. Probably what you're meant to do, right? There we go, wow. <laughs> All 
I didn't think about that, but you are probably just meant to launch it through the air. That was definitely easier because I could keep shooting it while it was flying through the air. Speed run. Okay, we can max out the drone gauge. If I do this danger level. Go for it. And then we got a boss. I want to fight Parallel Cannon again. Which cannon is funny. It's a it's a pun, because cannon is a musical term. Like Cockbull's cannon. But also parallel cannon. It's like an alternate version of events. Get out of here, you little stinker inkers. He slipped through. I thought I killed him. Get him, Pearl. <laughs> I didn't think you were trying to trick me with your tips. I just like to, I like to test. Trust but verify. There's a serious fight waiting on the next floor. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Yes, please don't overextend yourselves. You two gotta quit it with that talk. Eight and me are gonna go out, like, aren't gonna go out like chumps. I was gonna say. What were you trying to say, Pearl? We're gonna go out like super chumps and explode on them with my booyah bomb. I did stream the last Splatfest, yes. And I lost, because I was Team Saturday. Okay, weird baby sounds, here we go. Ugh. So creepy. This should be a pretty good weapon for this. If I can get the range. Oh, I'm not gonna outrun it. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say, did it even do any bombs or no? Keep getting armor. Pearl is going crazy with her bombs. So this is embarrassing to admit, but I didn't realize with the splatling that like a charger, you can tell if you're within range if you just see if the uh, the targeting reticule has an X on it. <laughs> hey, I don't play Splatlings that often. Let's see how it turns into an X. I never thought about it. Oops. Oh, they shot a torpedo at me. Didn't even notice that before. I didn't think torpedoes were even in this. It's universal with all weapons, okay. I think I just don't, I, I play too many brushes, but also don't pay attention to the reticule as often as I should. If it's in it, I fire. <laughs> and that was incredible, Eight. I already knew you were good, but not this good. Oh, you finally noticed? Eight is incredible. Pearl's incredibly, incredibly incredible. Isn't that right, Al? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Ink bottles with a bonus. Lucky bomb drop, which is also overpowered. Let's try the vending machine, because I need an extra life. Yeah, 
I spent too much of Splatoon 1 playing rollers and brushes to remember some of that stuff, but yeah. Here we go. Definitely don't want the Wave Breaker in, instead of the Booyah. Disc drop percentage. Mm, I'm going to save my money. Mm. Hindrance damage, homing shots. I try to keep getting all the pearl chips. We're like 80% pearl. Yeah, so Somberlene. I'll have to show it again, hopefully. We kept getting the inkling enemies before, but I haven't seen them in a while. But it is cool that it actually pulls your Splatoon 2 data. The snipers are definitely not as bad to deal with, now that I know to always aim for the top of them. It's also dependent on the weapon, because I, I kept using short range weapons before. Okay, so, but yeah. Oh, got knocked in a weird spot. There's this little tentacles in there, I didn't notice those before, or like eggs or something. Weird fish eggs. I had to remember what my Inkling's hairstyle was, but it was that spiky one that they added in the Mako Mart and Plan Blitz update, the punk hairstyle. Drone items, those are good. Sprinkler's good, but it's also danger. Let's get the items. That saved me a few times here. We got these big fans. This looks like we're inside my computer. I don't have this many fans, but... Just all of you right now. <laughs> oh, is this the same level? It looks very similar, at least. Not quite, but... Uh. Hear the magnet going. And thanks for the armor, Pearl! Giving me items like crazy now. Even just having it cost slightly less for her to drop items seems like it makes them pop up way more. Another one. Oh, it's filling up also when she's killing enemies, I think, too. That's why it was going crazy. I see it spinning around over there. You can watch all of Pearl's little meters turn and turn. Thanks for hanging out, Somberlene. Appreciate the support. Drone sprinkler. This does seem like this would be good for this weapon. But main piercing. I gotta go. I'm trying to keep my Pearl chips much as the other ones seem useful. Pearl's just sweeping through everything. <laughs> Octomar's not a fan, they're the air conditioner. Well, thank goodness for you, because this office would be insufferable if you weren't here. This is another don't swim one. I don't know if I can pull this off. Maybe if Pearl keeps dropping ink refills on me. There we go. I gotta get my ink back. You do recover ink just by standing, but... You just bounced off of him in the air.
Little sprinkler guys are the worst. Ruining my plan. Give me that stuff, I can't swim. Are there, I don't ever notice, I guess there are multi-levels of armor, right? Because you get the extra piece on your ear, or no? I don't exactly know how the armor levels upgrade in this, and I think you have to unlock the ability to level it up more, right? Which I never do. <laughs> I don't worry about the armor as much as I probably should. Go. We have time. Uh oh. Snipers are the worst when I can't swim. There we go. We got. It. Oh, you can go into the ink to recover. You just can't move around or you lose points. Okay. I was trying to get as many as I could. We got max. Your own charge. Thank you everyone for the tips who've been playing themselves. It's been very helpful to learn all these nuances. Rigorous and danger, but I'm trying to get Pearl lean mean fighting rope boat machine thing. <laughs> okay. Uh Brian had a full palette except for one blue Oh no! Pearl, we were just talking about how good you are. And now, I gotta fight without you. And we got all the portals. Oh, this is the one I can kind of jump around. And I can't... I forgot I wasn't going to be able to actually, um... Fly around without her. It's always the saddest when you load in. Nope. I can swim. I have to remember, I can swim now. Ah! <laughs> Pearl. I hope I don't die on this one, because without Pearl, this is a lot tougher. It is tougher than it looks. I'm gonna really try to take this thing out as fast as I can. There we go. <laughs> Where are you going? Ah, man, we might wipe on this one. I put way too much into her. This is what Ashley was like, you're gonna put all this in. She warned me about this before. She was like, you gotta be careful if you put too much into one and then we're gonna get one of these floors. And that's exactly what happened. Ugh. Got squished again, too. Give me the, jeez. This is way too much. Ugh. Nope. It happened. Wow. We can use the hacks to continue though. 3,000, at least we have the money. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work if you have the bucks. I wish Pearl would uh, be usable, but we're gonna do what we can. Okay, my progress. I gotta run away if I get in trouble and then fly back. Oh, it got stuck on something. My Booyah Bomb didn't make it all the way over because I think it got stuck. Jeez. Here goes my armor. The disc is useless! Pearl's not here to help! Oh my gosh. 
trying to build up my Booyah so I can get over. Ah, oh, there's another life. When your armor's broken, the missiles are the worst. My Booyah's like the only thing saving me. This is, uh... This is a lot tougher than I thought it might be. Shouldn't be letting them all build up over there, but... I'm trying to get my Booyah Bomb. <laughs> Nope! Why did I do it? Made the same mistake, and I'm gonna get stomped on. Jeez, this is brutal! Well, I have enough Membucks to try this again, but it, without Pearl, it's... I put way too many chips into her. It's throwing me off that I can't even glide over there. Snipers are extra annoying as well. No! Why? There we go. Oh, no, I can't glide. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, imagine this without hacks at all. Yeah, that's the thing. This is what's scary, trying to play this without anything in the base weapon. Didn't even see him on the way over. They just got sniped and... Mmm. This is like the all the really frustrating enemies all together. We were doing so well until Pearl abandoned us. It's not her fault. I'm gonna try to lure stuff over here where I can't get sniped. And then Booyah. I'm not sure what my game plan is here necessarily. Because if I kill enemies, it's not going to help me if I don't actually take them out. There's armor. That'll help. Remembering to look up this time, sort of. Ah! <laughs> I keep forgetting them until it's too late. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I can beat this. It's just very tough with this weapon. And no help, since my palette is 80% pearl. No, I keep forgetting about these little... Ah! <laughs> I'm so focused on the enemies on the ground, and then those guys come up on me. Wow. That's all it took. I, I put too many points in one thing, and that's all it took to be to uh, wipe me out. That's frustrating, but I guess that's how it works. Well, we can come back to it another time, I guess. Got a couple keys.
At least I only spent mem bucks on it. I didn't waste my pearls. I was getting too confident there. Not sure what I want to do now. Oh, so how do we... Floor reset. I have I didn't actually buy it. That's why. I'm going to get that. There we go. So it's 400 mem bucks to reset a floor. I didn't realize I didn't have that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought all the bias instead of the double chip rate. We could try to unlock the rest of Pearl's action slot. That just it seems ironic if I put more points into Pearl now. After how that went. I don't think I can shuffle the floor again, though, because I'm stuck on that, aren't I? Yeah, that went bad real fast. No hacks run after that? I don't know if I want to try that anytime soon. Alondra. Need to get more armor. More armor recovery. Hmm. Maybe max armor and attack damage. I attempted to do that. Or we could get another life. Damage reduction. Maybe damage reduction would probably be better. I was worried about making it too easy on myself, but honestly, still pretty tough. Maybe I should save the rest of my pearls. Because, yeah, we can't retry that anytime soon until I get way more. That's okay, we'll save it, just kind of like we did with the last one. I'll be back to that later. Well, I hate ending on a loss. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't had much trouble with going into danger floors before, but the pearl one is one of the most brutal ones. I probably shouldn't have done it. But I didn't think about it. Oh, these little secrets? I wonder what that says. It's in the inkling writing, maybe? The other thing we could do is try to jump back into one of my other previous ones, but... It might be a good place to stop off, honestly. So we can finish that at some point. We also need to finish this one. Alright, well, that's a cautionary tale for everyone watching. If you get too deep and you put all your eggs in one basket, sometimes someone closes that basket and doesn't let you use your eggs. And it's rough, but it's reality. Okay, well, let's head back to the square to get a little color in our lives. Yeah, you can see why, so look at that, it's like the saturation does seem bumped up when you have this little area to skip around in. And then, oop, you can do that from here, I forgot. We can get our kit. We did get all the rest of the pearl chips. I'm just still missing the flatling ones and the umbrella. One more. Um. Oops. Imagine Incopolis. Flatstone. There we go. But yeah, jumping between this and the normal world, especially the square, is kind of eye shocking. Yeah, at least it wasn't the final boss. And we got our revenge for the stringer. I tend to not do as well when we get to the end of the stream after playing for a while. I guess it even this looks a little more saturated, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Well, next time, I'm going to put on my gear because we are going to head back to work. Not big run yet. Where's my, there we go, my waiter boots. Put on my work gear. I go to work with my power glove on, of course. We're going to head into Grisco next time for the Golden Grisco weekend. I hope to see you there. That will be less than 24 hours for Splatter Day. And we'll uh, get to try out all the Grisco weapons again. And I need to get the special reward for this month. The Trevally Derby Rollers, the roller skates. I don't have them yet. I'm looking forward to that. And we got more rewards. I need to get more skate or uh, more scales because... We're about to get three more loop suits, and I gotta get those. 
at least the, the one that I want. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Let's see, we got a couple more members, but I want to thank the members we got already, including the treat givers, Rafa, Somberlene, Steven, Mark, Ashley, Alina, Zach, Josh, and Kayla, as well as the other members. See a bunch of you in the chat. Yeah, I think we got one, two, three, four, five. We had five new members during the stream. Appreciate that. That was thanks to Ashley and Steven. Here's all the early birds, and then I'll grab my loot. Don't think of it as a loss, just think of it as delaying winning later. Because we already beat the tower a couple times tonight. So I'm happy with that. Thank you all again. Let's get our rewards. Look at that. I didn't realize I have four weapon. Wow. We beat the tower. Not four times tonight. Three times tonight. The Splatano was from last day. We got all of those. I'm going to roll my machine real quick. And I have almost no money. We definitely need to go to Grisco and work. I got a hot water machine and an electric guitar. They go together. And of course, speaking of electric guitars, make sure you use Reppin Inkopolis if you want to see the new emotes. Because look at this. The Brella has a really cool one now. I like that a lot. Got all these weapons. I hope they still get their cool glow when you use them. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, does it not do it when you're outside? Of, uh, I think it, that might only be in, whatchamacallit, side order. I don't see it. It's just normal now. Still looks a little bit like gum. This does look more colorful. Is it just me? It looks more saturated now, even in Splatsville. At least this green is really bright. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Enough of that. Glow is when you update the damage. Oh, okay. Maybe, it, yeah, you're, you don't get to see it in the normal, normal game. But maybe it would be too distracting. Okay. They have different sounds as well, maybe. I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, thanks again, guys. Look how beautiful it is here. It's good to be back. In Inkopolis, where Grizzco began... And that's where we're going. I'll see you next time for that. Have a good night. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Maybe subscribe. And I'll see you in Grisco. Goodbye.